Hey, it's Luna. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be looking into what incoming blessings are heading your way. Alrighty, so we have pile one here, pile two, and pile three. Go ahead and take a moment to decide which pile or piles are calling to you most, and I'll see you in your reading. Hi, pile one. Welcome to your reading. Alright, I'm already channeling a few different songs for you guys. The first one that I'm channeling is Umbrella, okay, by Rihanna, and the second one is what a wonderful world i think that's what you call it um the i mean many people have covered that one but i'm thinking of like louis armstrong i think does that um i don't know who else i think like is does but anyways i'll put the links in the um in the description box below anyways pal one okay romance is in the air here already getting a lot of really cool synchronicities here for you um, we have the star like three times and you know this reading is about what incoming blessings are coming to you so what i'm going to venture to say is i see a wish and good luck when it comes to your love life okay maybe being able to have some sort of an open conversation with somebody that you care about now i don't know if this person is someone that you know in your life already or if this is a new suitor coming in okay so it might be different for some of you let me dive into it in a little bit but i see some good luck in romance here okay some sort of a good emotional um new period fresh start when it comes to love you know we have the sun the star um it's looking really nice here so let me go ahead and see what we have in this spread. Um, this person who's coming in, again, whether you know them or not, we will go ahead and pull further clarification in the tarot. But there's some sort of fresh start in your dating life, and this is something with the long haul. I mean, even for some of you who have been struggling with a partner recently, or like both of you have been dealing stuff individually or together, just have been having obstacles when it comes to love, like maybe you are about to get married to this person or you are married or you're in a long-term relationship and things have been a little rocky or there hasn't been time to like take some time out for just each other you know that could be resonant here too for some of you okay who are already coupled up um but okay so there is just this renewal here within your love life um you can take this as it resonates it doesn't have to necessarily be a man um it can be a woman um so just a partner right so it doesn't matter what um they identify as um but yeah this is looking really nice here so let's get into it um i think what i want to do is start with the the sun so this is going to be the major arcana that's representing these incoming blessings incoming wish coming for you okay so let's start with that one and then i'll probably pull more on the runes the charms Oops, and the other oracle cards here. Sorry, this might be a little loud. Okay, let's get into it. So let's pull on the sun. Okay, why is the sun coming out as it pertains to these incoming wishes with romance, these blessings? Oh my gosh, even nine of cups coming out. And like even when, of course, I'm doing a reading about your incoming blessings, incoming wishes, but always nice to see that further confirmation oh my gosh you guys the lovers our pal one starting off strong super excited to dive into this okay so clearly this is about some sort of a relationship here so you've been either manifesting a specific you know you know doing those um manifestations in love right like i really want my partner to be loyal i want to be able to have an emotional safe space with this person etc and this is coming into fruition for you look at that look how cute and cozy those cats are i love it so this person that you are manifesting um you know with the magician card here that's a manifestation right um, this person could have Earth in their chart. I would say their big three or their Venus. Okay, so Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Um, let me look how these cards are looking here. Yeah, there's been like some conflict or overthought. Um, it could be in regards to this person if you already know this person and this resonates, or it could be just some conflict and overthought when it comes to dating in general with romance, right? so what i see that you've been manifesting is to move away from this you know maybe you and this person have been putting in a lot of work within yourselves your individual selves um the way that you view relationships and dating 
right? So what you are doing is moving away from any of this internal or outer conflict, um, away from this overthought and into more of this gray energy over here with feeling manifesting somebody who is secure and stable. Um, I think both emotionally could be materially leaked too. Um, you know, that just doesn't have to do to with money, just like a grounded, solid person, right? Um, steady like an oak. Um, but look at this. We've got the Nine of Cups here. And I think this was the second card that flew out, right? So when you get the Magician coupled with the Nine of Cups with the Sun and the Lovers, um, just chef's kiss, okay? Um, what's interesting too is after I pulled the Lovers off the back of the deck, we have the Queen of Pentacles. So this person's evenly matched with you. Um, there's going to be some equal give and take, some reciprocity here. So, oh my goodness, I love to see it. I get so giddy and excited when I get to pull readings like this. So, thank you for being here and thank you for, um, yeah, just letting me read the cards for you today. So, let's go into, we'll do this one, the Tea Leaf Oracle. Romance is in the air, this one will just slide out again, so... Yeah, this wish, this incoming blessing or wish pertains to your romantic life. But let's see. Why is romance in the air here? Okay, so there's been a little bit of indecision when it comes to your love life. Um, yeah, it's like you're working on ending some sort of a cycle when it comes to your love life okay so this is good it's like you're passing a cosmic love test here and you know sometimes i don't really like the like tests you know like the universe or god tests you stuff like that but you know it's just like these tests or these lessons i would rather say that we go through um you know they bring us closer to love for ourselves love for others not just with romance and then of course with romance as well so yeah, it's like either there's some hidden emotions here with the hermit here, or there's a little bit of an emotional distance with this person. Um, uh, th those of you who know this person, whether you're coupled up or if it's like some sort of a separation situation, but it's like maybe you're working on ending the separation and coming together with this person, coming out from hiding, expressing your true free feelings, vice versa, right? And with the three of cups here, that's like absolute like reconciliation or meeting up with someone. Um, yeah, I feel like it's going to be different for some of you because I tried to pull like, do they know this person? Um, or is this someone new? So please take it how it resonates. So if you are looking for someone new, manifesting someone who's going to be solid, stable there for you, going to give you, you know, open up emotionally, etc., reciprocate, then this will be someone that's coming in that you don't know already. This person could be a, I'm getting a lot of Virgo energy here, okay? Um, if you know this person, you've been in separation, it's like there's some sort of reconciliation. If you are coupled up with this person, um, there's going to be some sort of like clearing the air, getting closer, getting some time out to spend with one another, okay? So those are kind of like the three scenarios I'm picking up here. It's not going to be just like, you know, I think within my collective, we have different stages within relationships. So just wanted to put those out there for you, okay? Um, let's look into a fresh start. Why is fresh start here in terms of this incoming wish, in terms of like romance? Okay, so there was some fear, some confusion, some anxiety, um, maybe some patterns that you and this person or just you in your past history with dating have um, just fears that you've wanted to overcome when it comes to relationships in general or within the specific relationship you guys are overcoming that okay so this fresh start look at that oh my god stop ah oh. i mean like this is probably one of the best readings so far that i've ever done of just like complete joy and happiness i mean we did get the which i'm going to pull on it too after this but we got the long haul card um we got the lovers the just justice in tarot when it pertains to relationships has to do with like a long committed relationship so this person whoever you're manifesting again could have earth in their chart could have like virgo in their big three or their venus look at that 
Four of Wands, stability, Six of Wands, success after, you know, troubling times when it comes to romantic relationships, Ten of Cups, long-term happiness, like, when you see the Four of Cups, I mean, sorry, the Four of Wands and the Ten of Cups together, that's, like, long-term relationship, that's, like, family vibes, even if you um, don't have children or want children, um, it's just, like, a long-term relationship, right? And then for those of you who want children, this relationship would have the potential to create a really cool family unit, right? So again, victory within um, whoever this is for you within your individual life. Four of Wands, Ten of Cups, okay. Yeah, this person could have um, in their big three as well, Libra I'm seeing here with the Justice card and the King of Swords. They could also just have air. So I'm getting for this person or you, there is um, prominent air and fire, oh, sorry, air and earth, okay? So if that narrows it down for you. Yeah, so it's like maybe you've been wanting to make a decision, you and or this person on, um, does this have the potential for long term? Can we have a fresh start in this relationship? And look at that fresh start, Ace of Wands, fresh start, literally that's what the Ace of Wands is. And that the Ace of Wands coupled with the Six of Wands, that's a victory here. Look at the, all these ribbons, you know, these like, it's like they're flags of like, woo, an achievement. Um... And I feel like you and or this person are gaining the confidence again in within yourselves, within this relationship to be able to make this fresh start happen. Oh my goodness, you guys, I love it. Um, and it totally is giving me the back to the channeled song we had with Umbrella. Like I'll pull in the Umbrella charm that I got, but it's like, you know, that safe space, um, you know, I'm trying to think of the lyrics here, you know, you can stand under my umbrella, umbrella, I think like a safe space, like coming in from the rain, a shelter and an emotional safe space is someone you ideally would want, right, within a relationship. And I feel like if there's been, again, indecision within this relationship, or if you are like just looking to put yourself back out there again, you're like, I don't know if I'm going to find someone who's going to be that safe space, who's going to be solid and dependable, reliable, who I can build with, build a life with this is what you're manifesting this is an incoming blessing for you Ooh, yeah so mm, okay cool i love it yeah i i feel like they're the your guides are like saying like at the beginning of the song it's like you have my heart will never be worlds apart maybe in magazines but you'll still be my star something like that right um because in the dark you can't see shiny stars and that's why i need you here or something when you need me there something we'll always share okay something like that you, i mean for the, many of you probably know that song but look up the lyrics for the confirmation on like the vibes of this relationship here and even if like you know the song will never be worlds apart if there's been any separation or emotional distance like even if you live with this person like um what i'm seeing here is that you know you're always together this is a soulmate for sure um a long long haul soulmate um where it's like you're still like together in the, you know, the 3B, 3D, I mean the 5Ds in spirit, just like, you know what I mean, how love can tether people. So the love is still there if this is someone that you've been having some trouble with or in separation with, okay? Okay, the long haul. So let's look into the long haul. I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory, but <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, long haul. Again, Libra energy um seventh house energy which is are your committed relationships so this is somebody who has been or is going to be in your life for a very long time um any other things about the long haul for some of you um this person you might be fated or meant to have children with with the three of cups that because that can wreck it um um, represent a ch child page of pentacles is like an earth sign or baby or something like that so they could have if you guys are meant to or you want to have children in the future page of pentacles could be earth also earth in their chart we're getting a lot of earth energy fertility abundance here but um again for those of you in separation or you guys are together still but it's like tough i see a reconciliation here reconciling any differences look at that long term and the king of pentacles too in tarot if you're looking for kind of like the archetype or the um especially within love this person is dependable this person is someone who is like could be a good father or mother right this person um works hard they they're structured they 
and even just like again not just monetarily it's like i get like being a rock right like this person's a rock and willing to be a rock yeah for sure like in time it's possible for you to have children with whether it be you know it could be like two kids with the page of pentacles and a wand a page of wands so fire sign and earth sign um but also this like could represent a new beginning or a shift within this relationship if you do already know this person or for those of you who haven't like met this person yet it's like you're about to meet somebody who um is going to be someone in your life for a very long time so for some of you who believe in marriage this person you could be protracting um a marriage partner or just a long-term partner if you're not into that so um yeah i love that um i think i had something else here yeah so again and for some of you this is someone that you've known for a long time already and there's just like this opening here that's happening for you guys to come together it feels very faded um for some of you, if this is someone you're already married to or, like, have kids with, that could just, like, be further confirmation for you that, like, yeah, we are going through a rocky time, but, you know, we're committed and loyal to one another. And maybe some of you have two kids, right? So that could be a thing. Okay. Let's look into the star. For me, I'm just getting, like, healing within your dating life, healing within this relationship, right? But let's look more into it why is the star here yeah this is like a fresh start healing confusion with this person for some of you um like i said earlier the king of swords and the king of pentacles Coles came out so it can be either this is the same person they just have like fire and i mean sorry earth and air in their chart or you could have just like gotten over somebody who was a um an air sign and and there's confusion there and you're like okay i'm done being confused i'm gonna heal from that i'm gonna wrap up wrap that up find closure and i'm moving towards the king of pentacles so that can be for some of you right um so again to reiterate this the person in question can be an earth or an air sign or you're healing from someone who is a king of swords so an air sign you're finally getting your mojo and confidence back after taking the time to heal um there was confusion and such and now there's a new start here within your love life and you might have like a there's something here about having a new perspective on dating in general um in your past relationships um and maybe you're again clearing up this confusion if this is still the king of pentacles same person it's like cl uh, clearing up confusion getting a new perspective on that situation and again we have the star on the back of the deck which we were pulling for the star so all right okay let's look into the gentleman so who is this gentleman who is this gentleman tell me more about this suitor this person that you know the long haul tell me more about this person maybe some qualities or the situation okay there's gonna be an opportunity with this person this person can be very generous very giving um you know with their time they might like to treat you with the ace of pentacles here again for some of you this is like <clears throat> the, the mother or the father of your children again um to gender doesn't matter here so just take it as it applies to your situation um i feel like this person's kind of lucky i feel like this person has a lot of emotional love for you this person again could be a father they could be a boss in their um workspace their career environment this person is very um resilient they can be playful and fun too so while this person's like stable they're like steady there's a lot of emotional feelings that they have or will have for you um but they're also still playful so they still like to have fun right they do take their time um you know when it comes to the important things right they think things through but like sometimes they can be spontaneous and fun you know what i mean like um when it comes to like play playtime right or like going out or like going on trips and stuff whatever like they can have fun explore like to explore they like to, they might be creative um but i think when it comes to the important things they are like i don't want to say stern but they are serious about it they're serious about longevity about a long-term relationship about loyalty right so that's really cool okay 
we have the star here for the rune, but you know, I'm gonna pull on it just in case. Um, is there any messages that have to do with this? I mean, I just really feel your healing within your romantic life. And then this, this connection coming in is gonna be even more healing. Yeah, okay, so it's like, for those of you who are in separation or with this person, like you, for those of you who know this person, okay, um, it's like maybe you guys were kind of dancing around or not wanting to face any conflict or kind of not wanting to rock the boat, but you're choosing to work on things and like bring things out, important issues that maybe you guys have been hiding from or kind of sweeping under the rug, things like that, and you're, you're choosing to face them head on. It's like you know that like these things need to be talked about. Um, and you're choosing, you and this person are choosing to work on it, on anything that's happened that's been like, oh, I'm scared, or like, I don't want to face this, or, you know, any issues you've had. For some of you, it could have involved other people. Um, and yeah, now it's time to work on it, and this is the healing that's coming in for you guys, right? Yeah. Making things right, like, I feel like apologies here. Making things right with Libra, balancing the scales within this relationship. Apologies, offers being made here, okay? Um, and yeah, I feel like there's an opportunity to, to, to work on healing with this person, if you know this person. If you don't know someone and you're manifesting this person that's coming in for you, it's like, I feel like you're working on the, the things that um, you want to heal within yourself with past relationships or just in general um you know whatever healing that you've been working on healing from conflict of the past um wanting to work on yourself you've been like kind of in a period of um just self-development and then you're like oh, i don't know if i really want to like get my back out there and then like now i feel like okay i think i'm gonna like test the waters yeah and so if that's the case i feel like there's some sort of like this romantic offer right coming in for you from this person who could have earth or air in their chart all right let's do the charms let's pull for the starfish so initially whenever i pull the starfish it's like it just represents that you've been through a lot um that's what i what i see like with the starfish can be tossed around by waves right if they're not like connected to a rock or like you know something stable the waves and the currents kind of take them and they're kind of tossed around and they're beaten by sand and all this stuff and so like I know that's kind of a weird analogy, but that's just my own thing because I've found a lot of starfish in the ocean. And so it's like, this represents like knowing a lot, having a lot of experiences, have gone through a lot when it comes to love. So let's pull, why is this starfish here? Yep, there it is. You're ending a cycle. And this could be like ending a cycle um, that has made you feel complacent or like mm, i don't really feel like like dating's been oh you know you're ending a cycle and for those of you who are already in an established relationship with this person or in separation you're ending a cycle with this person so this is what the starfish represents you've been through a lot together those of you who know this person been through a lot together weathered a lot of storms together and now it's the time to end the cycle which is great for some of you, you might be traveling because of the world world card is travel. So, the, so some of you are like long distance with this person. And that's been, you know, a factor because it's obviously hard sometimes to people make it work. But like, you know, sometimes it's it can put a strain on the relationship or some of you could be um, seeing this person, traveling with this person, traveling to you, this person, they're traveling, link to you, etc. Or like, again, if you're long distance, maybe somebody will be moving closer to you or vice versa, okay? Love that. Let's do the moon. For me, I'm thinking like hidden emotions. There's a lot of emotions within this relationship. If you know this person, if you don't know this person, this person's gonna have a lot of love for you. Um, if this person's gonna be emotionally expressive, um there's a, a lot here about i'm thinking about being open regardless of where you're at like expressing your emotions to this person and vice versa having an open conversation here but like instead of like again the moon can be what's hidden so it's like coming out with that right like putting it all on the table here i'm really being drawn to libra again on this um card here so again there, there could be you or this person could have libra 
yeah so look the moon is about emotions there's there was emotional disappointment here may could be significant um you're putting the burdens down from the past you have a new perspective on what you and this person have gone through or if you're single um you've you have a new perspective on um the lessons you've learned through a romance and it's like you're taking these with you into this new cycle when it comes to love okay so i love that love to see that yeah if, if love or romance have had if there's been this emotional weight like you're setting that down you have a new perspective you feel lighter here and there is again that star card that healing and then the fool is a new beginning here star and the sun so there's light um, and it's interesting because we have the moon, the sun, the stars, and you think about like, you know, the celestial bodies, things like that. And it's like, um, no more of this hidden or this sadness, obviously relationships, there's going to be ups and downs no matter what, but like this period that you're entering into, um, is again, look at that, the roses, romance, sunlight, healing star. So it's really, it's looking really nice. This is coming through some sort of a conversation here with the three of pentacles. So it's again, you and this person having an, op an open conversation. Or again, if you're like matching with this person on the internet or meeting this person out, being honest and upfront with like what you're looking for, right? Like not dancing around or putting yourself in, if you want longevity, which it seems like you guys do with like the long haul, right? Um, of not settling and being like, look, I like am, you know, asking this person, what are you looking for? This is what I'm looking for. And sometimes we're afraid to do that because we don't want to scare someone off. But I feel like it's the mature thing to be like, hey, like this is what my dating goals are. You know, it doesn't have to say it so business-like like that, but you can be like, I, you know, I'm looking for someone to actually date and be, in a committed relationship or whatever you're looking for doesn't you know whatever it is um and you know i want to, to to be with someone who is looking for the same thing as me right at the beginning putting it out there like built um starting with a firm found a, built starting to build a strong foundation with someone new if that's what you're looking for right uh, starting it off on the right foot so i feel like that's important here with the lips here yes romance right lips can can allude to romance but also it's about a conversation here so let's pull for this charm healing conversation with the star coming out again well that one flipped out kind of crazy talking about the, the lips oh yeah it's like remember we have the four of cups so it's like facing the conflict like confronting it and talking about it which i knew was hard but it's like you're stepping into this empress energy here of like you know we need to we need to heal this um maybe being open you know with this is someone newer or but you're about to meet this person of like what you want and don't want look at these these are all such beautiful like major arcanas um and some of my favorite ones here too so it's like this is going to be a healing heart to heart with somebody again getting a lot of libra energy here um maybe you if you know this person you or this person have been like defensive or blocked off or literally blocked um and you're like avoiding the conflict you don't want to like stir the boat or stir the pot stir the boat stir the pot or rock the boat but this conversation is going to move out of like this devil energy this seven of wands defensive energy this ten of wands heaviness to get it off your chest and again you're moving out of this that same whole idea of like moving out of the darkness um within romantic life and and healing from this of having a heart to heart on this of feeling really good and receptive i feel like yeah it could be a difficult conversation but i think you're coming out of this feeling really good about yourself feeling really good about where you are at with this person and there's an element of receiving here so that's really nice Let's look at the umbrella Ella Ella A A A. Okay. Um and yeah, maybe there has been a storm here and it's like you're moving out of that into the sunshine, out of the rain, into the sunshine. So why is the umbrella here? Yeah, there was some heartbreak. Um again, if you know this person within this or you're starting to heal from you know past relationships and um or a breakup or things like that and it's like you're entering into this period where it's starting to like i think i'm gonna get back out there again um yeah and like i feel like you've been hiding it's almost like i feel like you're going to be 
if you took that time out to heal to like kind of step away from dating for some time like you're showing up now after this time of going within healing processing your emotions feeling it out um you're coming out like on top you're coming out in this empress energy and i feel like you're coming out of this with clarity again if you know this person you're gonna be talking to this person like you're gonna be telling the truth um, of your emotions and this is again going to make you feel really good and I feel like this person is going to see you as this empress energy is having changed and grown and that you exuding like radiance and confidence um and, and I feel like they see you as this already um but I just feel like <sighs> there's a lot of threes here with the three of swords the three of um or the empress right which rules the threes but like there's some sort of conversation here and it is safe to express your emotions it feels like yeah and i just it's like this important conversation needs to be had so you can move into this new cycle with this person or it could be like you finding closure um you know with somebody in your life um that things didn't work out with and there's you know there's care just didn't work out and you're choosing to to move forward and starting to um again plan to get back out there okay let's look at the horseshoe with the horseshoe i think about good luck this could be tr indicating travel too right like traveling by the horse i think of like the rider in lenormand but let's look at you know good luck and love here let's see what is this horseshoe what is this horseshoe indicating, representing? Yeah, for some of you, this is a trip, right? A trip to talk to this person in person. Um, I'm getting a lot of eights for, wow, that's crazy. I just said I'm getting a lot of eights for like abundance. Eight sound or feel significant here. But like um, with both the eight of cups and the eight of wands coming out, I think of travel. So again, like, if it's long distance or it's like maybe one of the yeah maybe you guys broke up because um someone had to move to a new town and just wasn't working there's something here about either the traveling or moving um if this is you and your partner maybe you're moving and getting moving to a new uh land of opportunity where there's like someone got a new job so you guys are cultivating more abundance and you guys can like feel more secure um and be able to talk to one another there's a lot of eights here. We have like, we have the eight of cups, the eight of wands, the eight of swords. So there's like been a lot of overthought and indecision. So it's like, again, for those of you who know this person, this person's definitely like someone from your past or like in your life, you've known this person for some time and you know, sh you or this person are like, should I apologize? Can we make amends? Is it possible? Is this just like a wish that's like, not supported or it's am i supposed to move on like for those of you in separation it's like um i feel like there is some sort of an offer some sort of an apology here and that could take place in person if you're at a distance for this person or you know if you do live locally it's like maybe you guys go take a trip to you go to their house you guys go out to dinner or like maybe it's like if you're partnered up with this couple you guys you can get away for the weekend and talk about things and just bring that romance back in and if things have been like hectic at work and such but definitely for you guys there's so there's there's indications of travel here when it comes to this relationship okay okay i think i tell it's charm okay um Ooh, so there's again like hidden feelings secret admirer right on um, it feels like both ends so again for a lot of you you guys are in separation right um but it's like both of you have kept the faith for this relationship yeah so there's there's going to be some sort of an unexpected message that might come through this summer so if you're viewing this right now i'm just for context i'm recording this during spring um in april and um so i mean summer's a, like Let's see, it's like two months away, right? So, wow, you have been manifesting like some reconciliation and union with this person. Oh my goodness. 
So this feels like a specific message for those of you who are separated from this person or like in minimal contact. There's going to be some sort of an unexpected message this summer, like something's going to happen where you both of you have some sort of an epiphany that you both have been manifesting and it's leading to this union here. This union meaning like reconciliation and working past the tough stuff and again, it's kind of beautiful. It's beautiful. Excuse me. You guys have kept a lot of faith in this. And I think in this time of separation, you've had epiphanies, both of you, you've processed, you've learned maybe where you made some mistakes, where this person's made mistakes, and they're processing that too, and realizing that too, and coming back together stronger. And I'm sure this has been really difficult for you, separation, being separated from someone you love, but it's like, there is this promise of like a fresh start here, right? With the long haul, and I mean, come on, romance is in the air. This represents like the person in your life healing happiness with the sun the star we have like good luck here with that horseshoe charm so it's like maybe some of you are like moving or traveling during the summer and like this can meet you know you guys end up like linking up um i don't know i just keep getting drawn to the keep the faith right so it's like maybe some of you have been like you know, people have been like, uh, you know, when are you going to move on? This isn't realistic and stuff, but it's like you're manifesting this incoming blessing or wish is something you've been hoping for. And I, I saw that in your previous cards before. And I think that it's like maybe you and this person had an awareness that there had to be some sort of like a separation, whether it be a move or like just wanting to work on yourselves um, before coming back together or something like that. Wrapping things up with like whatever it is you guys were dealing with. Um but yeah like so this could happen during this the summer when it comes to this unexpected message and unexpected meetup perhaps um but i feel like this person really cares about you um for those of you who are just like have had separation with somebody and you have kept faith in love you might be receiving like for example a secret admirer this could be like someone on the internet or like a friend of a friend or something coming through and like during the summer things might unfold here and you're like epiphany of like why it didn't work out with anyone else in the past in the past because you've been manifesting someone who again is just like stable grounded emotionally loving dependable energy so um yes love to see it um let's see i feel like between august like some i don't know if i said august but like summer vibes towards fall like this is going to be unfolding more like i'm getting september like june to september okay so keep a time frame from june to september i think this could be unfolding here yeah this is after a period of disappointment sadness depression um and you just like were like i gotta work on myself i gotta heal and yeah so let's look into some advice for you oh my gosh do you guys <laughs> i've never had a deck do that to me okay um i'm gonna have to maybe reshuffle this because literally this is just spilling everywhere but i've got this i got admit your vulnerabilities um wow all right let's see oh my gosh this might have taught you guys lessons around like other people in your life like choose who's like there for you um i was seeing there that it could have been conflict with like other people involved so it's like you guys are learning to like choose your friends wisely you and or this person holy moly it's just like flew everywhere okay and then we have we had go with the flow that like stayed there so it could be just like letting this come to you right um let's see advice for them So except for this dying, so this could be something again for those of you like within the past, like, you know, if this was like a breakup and someone new coming in, this could be like learning to forgive is what I'm seeing. What doesn't work within a relationship anymore? Um, yeah, loyalty, keep your commitments. Again, about another thing about trusting the divine plan, right? Um, having faith in the universe. Okay, yeah, there's there's a few things here about be decisive, keep your commitments here. So if there's any been any confusion or like wishy-washy or push and pull energy, it's like 
you know, if this person comes in or you decide to come to this person, then it's like, you know, then be decisive about it. Say what you need to say, right? Get it off your chest. Laugh at your demons. So it's like, if this has been heavy for you within love, it's like you're learning to lighten your energy. Take some time out to rejuvenate. And this is like to heal yourself or heal within this relationship and raise your vibration here. So it's like, there's, I feel like you are kind of like in a period or have been through a period where it's been heavy, right? Or there's been disappointment and stuff. And I feel like in order to, if you're going to decide to heal things with this person, if you're in separation or you're with this person already, there's a lot of here that's really giving me like an element of forgiveness and like releasing the past if you want to move forward or learning the past and like talking about the past so you guys can actively choose to move forward within this which again that's going to take forgiveness and how we say it but forgiveness is one of the highest forms of unconditional love right so if you really do love this person they love you you guys can learn from whatever has transpired or whatever has caused a separation in order to um to move forward into the sun into the star into this healing energy right holy moly i'm so spooked spooked myself by pulling out those cards <laughs> so this could be a very unexpected like we said right you could be like holy moly you might react like that and your just cards fly out all the table i was like what the heck <laughs> um hmm, i want to get all right tell me more about this <clears throat> So I feel like it's going to be like steady movement forward. Like I feel like it's not something to like, if you're going trying to rebuild with this person, like if there was a tower moment, things were like as stable before and that was part of the separation. You know, I'm, I'm getting to you and this person to handle carefully, to be fragile with one another's feelings or like not fragile, but be delicate with the, the other person's feelings, right? um because <clears throat> i don't know there could have been like some power struggles or possessiveness within this but there is a determination with you both i feel right again some of you have could be traveling to meet up with this person um if you guys are coupled like you might be going on vacation if you're coupled you might be moving to a new area but look at that there's a new beginning the conversation there's a lot of love here and i feel like there's going to be a, a big emotional outpour when it comes to this relationship yeah i feel like you and this person have had a lot of stress or anxiety or worry you know feeling depressed about the struggles you guys have been facing but look at that after this period of an emotional winter we're moving into the sun we're moving into expansion again i'm getting travel with jupiter um but there's fates at play here you know to have some sort of a important conversation again this could transpire um between june and september like it might happen this summer and then by september there's more like progress right maybe this um winter has if you're coupled up with this person or in separation you during winter things were really rocky but yeah, look at that communication here with this person. Oh my gosh. Ladybug, a vibrant, abundant life. Happy, comfort, leisure. Wish is coming true. It's the reading, right? For some of you, um, you could have a daughter or you're meant to have a daughter with this person. Or, I mean, for some of you twins, for some of you, it's like a boy and a girl. Something like that. Um, yeah, we're getting a lot about winter here. Look at that. We have like two cards. Well, I would say like, yeah, like two cards of wishes coming true here. Falling in love, feeling blessed, miracles, dreams happening within this relationship, the will of fortune here. So winter was, looks like winter was significant here. Um, I was going to say something else here. Um, let me look at the, let's look at the winter since that's coming out a few times and see if that gives... If there's if that's like a time frame, I don't know if this is last winter, or this went uh, upcoming winter. So let's see. So this is ha something's happening. Okay, so they're giving me like a pretty big timeline here. So it's like, what it seems like is like June something unfolds, or between June and September something unfolds here, and then by winter time. So this could be during Pisces season within six to nine months. 
Dur let me see, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January. Yeah, so it could be like, depending on when you see this reading, Pisces season could be important. The winter in general. So the winter is like, I think technically December to like March, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, so this is basically giving us a timeline from like June to like winter. Okay. Um, so yeah, I guess summer to winter. Um, why is winter here this upcoming winter? Why is this upcoming winter here? Pisces can be involved too, because we have we have the King of Cups on the back of the deck. Let us see. For some of you, you could be like getting. I was picking this up before, but some of you could be like conceiving or having like conceiving during winter, finding out you're pregnant during winter. This is for those of you who want to have children. Um, yeah, you, yeah. Um, but let's look. So this is this upcoming winter. There might be some sort of a surprise or a shock. And it could involve family too. So it could be like, it could involve a Sagittarius or like an Aquarius or a Pisces. Um, but something has happened here during winter. For some of you, it's like maybe you're moving during winter. Like, so if you're long distance with this person, like you're gonna, like you're moving closer, or they're moving closer to you. Um, for those of you who, um, like are just putting yourself out there you might start dating with some someone during the summer and then by winter you're like you're more like official and feeling more comfortable um for for those of you you might be investing in something more long term like so i just feel like a move can be significant here and again this is a general reading so i'm reading for different people um while there might be an underlying spiritual lesson that's the same for all of you like this might manifest out in different ways. So I want to make sure I cover it. Like for some of you, like it could absolutely involve family or starting a family. Like I said, finding out you're pregnant or wanting to start to conceive around that time. Um, for some of you, this could involve like ending a cycle and it involves like both of your guys' families, right? Um, and really coming together to start like a family with this person. Again, it doesn't have to mean that you are having kids. This could just be like, moving in together, having pets, stuff like that. Um, but let me get more clarification here. Um, let's start with the tower. So again, this is for this upcoming winter. Let's see, what are we at, 48 minutes? Why is the tower here? Yeah, I feel like this really involves family. This is like something coming in and it, it, so it has to do with family. So, or it can have to do with uh, finances or work too. But you know, right, if you're coupled up with somebody, like you are building together, you might be sharing finances or just like, you know, managing finances together, depending on your, your guys's, um, financial situation but a little bit of this is going to be a shock here because I, th I think they don't really want to tell me completely but there is some sort of a tower um okay let's see let's look at this ace of pentacles um why is the ace of pentacles here Yeah, for some of you, this is about a kid. Like, you might be... Maybe some of you, like, that was the tough stuff. And it's, like, with romance, it's, like, you're getting to, like, you know, 
do some baby making and then um by at least by winter there, that could be possible to having conceiving right um yeah i'm getting a lot of that here so if you don't want like if it's not that maybe you guys are getting a pet together and moving in together or something like that right um <laughs> Um, let me see. Okay, yeah, the Eight of Cups could be like a trip or moving homes like by winter, right? Let's see, why are like these Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles coming out here? Oh my gosh, I keep... Yeah, if there's been like any conflict with each other's families, right? Like maybe you guys' families have been nervous of you guys getting back together if there's problems in the past, but you guys are choosing to work on it. I feel like this could involve some sort of a trip too that you might be taking with each other's families. I'm really getting a lot of trip or moving energy here, you guys, by like December. Or I mean um winter, right? Um There's some sort of an offer coming in. Again, it could be like an offer to like amend things or like just get back together with families and just reincorporate with each other's families. Yeah. So there's some sort of an offer like I think coming by winter and it might be helpful. Like say one of you, like you guys live long distance and it's like, uh you guys want to move closer together but like it's been hard and you you're like you guys do you're like you know what i think we are at this point after working on our relationships we have lived together before let's get back together you know we'll split the rent and then you know it's cheaper than you know whatever so like there's some sort of a, a luck here coming in that's gonna make like forward movement within this rela relationship more possible okay so this is positive something good coming in that's going to be helping with that Okay, let's get a few of my homemade oracle little card things here and then we'll wrap it up. Balance. Yeah, this is like emotional balance and maturity. This person could have Pisces in their chart. Yeah, it's like, I think what you've learned wherever you're at um whether you know this person whether you don't know this person you you're learning how to balance like the give and take the reciprocity if things were unequal it's like both of you are like stepping it up in some realms like and then also balancing the love for yourself the time for yourself you know time time with friends time with family time with your partner time for self right you're learning to balance that out we literally had i just saw wish granted too because there's been a lot of faith here and manifestation here yeah i wanted to come out as a wish granted something you've been hoping for to shift within your romantic life yes so that could be like a yes to the person on your mind and then social media all right let's look into these okay why is balance here Yeah, it's almost like, um, you know, when we give and we put love and invest in, like, relationships within ourselves, it's like sometimes we have to, like, learn that, like, of when we give time to ourselves, when we give time to our friends, when we give time to this person, um, even with money, it could be, right? I feel like you're going to be feeling a lot more grounded here. Um, maybe some of you or this person or both of you are just within finances. Finances are getting better. A boss could be involved here with just like, uh, you know, maybe you're getting more more finances that you can like contribute to this relationship or vice versa. I'm kind of, I'm getting that there. Self love. I feel like you've learned a lot about what either within this relationship or past ones a lot about how the importance of self love, right? 
Um, yeah, and I feel like you're really learning how to nurture and take care of yourself and not to beat yourself up. Um, and I just, I feel like there's a lot of more emotional maturity coming in here for you. And just learning, just again, like taking care of yourself, nurturing yourself. Um, I am getting stuff with finances that might have shifted here too. And I feel like, again, like this self-love or with maybe within the separation or just like if you're with this person, just learning to kind of like find that balance of taking care of your own needs, making sure your needs are met making sure you give your person healthy boundaries and space, you know, etc. Why is the yes here? Yeah, I feel like if there's something here about there's been a lot of indecision or like laying low or like should i you know aries seems really significant so maybe during aries season you're thinking a lot about this relationship it is mercury retrograde as i record this so it's like mercury retrograde is about kind of like reflecting reviewing wrapping up and healing from healing any miscommunications within relationships, right? Learning to speak eloquently and lovingly, but also have your firm boundaries. Maybe some of you are planning to reach out to this person and I'm getting like, yeah, that, that it's a yes to reach out to this person. Cause I feel like hiding your feelings is just like causing confusion and this back and forth where I feel like for a lot of you, you might be called to to reach out yeah maybe I'll offer something to this person like a message right why is social media here maybe this person has um seen you healing and, and moving forward with your life and on social media in some way and loving on yourself with that right that self-love ace of cups is very much self-love um for some of you this could be a reach out on social media with the world i see um again this could be like the world's internet or it could be like traveling or see someone seeing that you're traveling or, or you see that them they're traveling on social media and i feel like maybe social media is involved in order for like someone to do that reach out right or someone's reaching out on social media <clears throat> right um let me see yeah so it's like either if you feel called to reach out and you're like getting signs to reach out maybe you're like i don't know starting social media or like through a text message um that will lead to like you know phone call making plans and you know having an actual talk verbally Yeah, it's like you're not seeing like I feel there's still fear and it's going to require strength to have this conversation, right? Um and emotional maturity here to have a grounded conversation. Um but I feel like again, this is like this catalyst here that social media can be the catalyst of like someone sees something, someone reaches out on social media and then that will initiate um you know, this healing chapter for you and this person right yeah look at that there's a victory i feel like someone sees something or like responds or you know for those of you in separation right and then you guys can end up having that conversation yeah it's like there's gonna be a heart to heart so it's like almost like maybe you guys reconnect on social media and then like one of you decides to travel to the other person or with this person and then you guys can have that talk in person yeah this is like this is something to celebrate this is the wish this is the incoming um manifestation right of you being able to come together with somebody oh yeah for those of you who <clears throat> are looking to get back out there and date again like you might meet this person on social media whether it's a dating app or on like instagram or 
whatever it is, okay? Okay, um, I hope this reading helped. I hope that you liked it and it looks really exciting for you guys for this new chapter within your love life, your romantic life. Um, if this reason, or this reason, if this reading resonated, um, I'm trying to build my channel so it would be so helpful if you could just either like it, comment, um, subscribe, or share. Um, and then I also made an Amazon wish list in my description box if you feel called to doing an energy exchange there. Um, that'll help me bring more free content and readings to you guys. But yeah, thanks so much for all the love and support. Um, super excited about your guys' reading. I get so giddy and stoked when I see all this fairy tale love stuff come out. So I will catch you guys in the next reading. Take care and have a good one. And I'll chat you chat with you soon. Bye. Hi, Patu. Welcome to your reading. Let's see what incoming blessings are headed your way. All right. So this is very cool, very synchronistic. Um, I'm seeing three different indicators that you're about to receive help. Okay, so if things have felt a little rocky or unstable or you're trying to solve some sort of a problem, you're going to get key insight. You're going to have the solution. It might be coming to you from somebody who is in your community, a friend, a family member. Um, you might be struggling or needing some advice or maybe some financial help, something like that, in order to make like a big life move, right? So this could be coming from someone who has Aries in their chart. This person could um, be like a boss. This person could be um, like a father or father figure, mother, mother figure someone who has the authority or the help or the means to be able to do so and i know sometimes it's like man i just want to feel grounded like the emperor right is grounded secure and right now i'm like feel like i'm standing on edge or like on one foot when it comes to things um the guy your guides the universe wants to let you know that you're divinely protected here you're going to receive some sort of assistance some sort of a gift some sort of help and it might be coming in pretty quickly here with the lightning bolt and it might be a little bit of a shock but it's going to be ultimately good and right sometimes our pride and not in a pride like i'm so prideful i don't want anyone to help me but it's like you don't want to be a burden or something like that you want to be able or you feel like you should be able to do it yourself but i feel like the universe wants to remind you that we are interdependent right we all need help from one another i'm still getting um in one of my other readings, I channeled the song um, with a little help from my friends, right, by the Beatles. So it's like I get by with a little help from my friends. So it's like this assistance is going to be really good. I feel like for some of you, it could be life changing or just help you solve a really big problem or choice that you've had to make with the crossroads. Like, for example, some of you have been like, how am I going to afford to move or like, how am I going to be able to, um, you know, make this big choice I have to make, right? Because sometimes it's easier to make the small decisions we have to make every day. Even that's kind of hard, like deciding what you want to have for lunch. But like this seems to be something kind of like big that you've been struggling with or like have been needing some help with, right? Like, for example, maybe it's a boss and um, they might give you like a relocation fee if you're planning to move or some sort of a bonus or... Um, you know, it'll be different for everybody within your situation. Those are just a few examples that are kind of channeling right now. But this is exciting news. And with the lightning bolt here, it's, you know, it's like lightning's exciting. It's like this flash of light, right? And usually followed by thunder. So it's like, whoa. And I'm um, also channeling the song. Right before I started this, there's a song. I don't know what it's called. If it's like knock on wood or like the lyrics are... It's like thunder, lightning, the way you love me is frightening, you better knock on wood, right? And I feel like knocking on wood can represent like, you know, like knock on wood, like it's going to, let's hope for the best, right? Um, but it could be like someone coming to your door, coming to you with an offer, something like that, and you might not expect this. But, um, but yeah, I'm channeling that song too. So, right, it's like thunder, lightning, the way you love me is frightening, but I see that in a good thing because it's like, this person cares for you you know if it's, it's someone that is a friend or a family member or like a boss you've known for a long time it's like this person cares about you they they love you they want you to succeed <clears throat> they want to help you out okay so again this is an incoming blessing because i really feel like it's going to make a really good and positive difference in an area area or areas you've been really struggling with with the crossroads right and I, again, <clears throat> for some of you, I'm thinking like travel or relocating because like roads, crossroads. Do I stay here? Do I go there? 
this is going to be really exciting and really beautiful. So let's look into it. Um, I'm going to pull for each of these oracles as well as the runes and the, or the rune and the charm. Sorry, it's going to be a little loud when I do that. So I'm going to start with the emperor card. Okay. So let's pull. Why is the emperor here? Ooh. <clears throat> Yeah, here's that <clears throat> manifestation. It's like, oh yeah, for some of you, this really has to do with travel or relocating, right? So like maybe you just got a new job and this job is across the country and you're like, oh shoot, like maybe it's like a hybrid job, right? And um, you are like need to be in office sometimes. Maybe they'll give you like that relocation fee. Um, Maybe it's like your dad and like you really want to go see your family because it's been a while, you're away at like school or something like that. They like offer you to, <clears throat> you know, here, let me help you pay for like one way of your ticket and then you pay the way back or something. Um, but I see some sort of an end of a cycle here where you're going to be feeling more stable within your life, right? So this could be more financially stable, more emotionally stable, more mentally stable if you've, you know, had a lot of anxiety and such, right? So again, for a lot of you, this could be travel. So with getting help with travel plans, right? Say you have to go to like a a wedding or you have to go to some sort of um, like a convention. You might be getting help in that way. Um, <clears throat> so you're moving away from like disappointment and sadness or feeling like you're, you know, left out, not being able to do as much. And you're receiving this gift here. Again, for a lot of you, I think it, it's financial. Or this could, could be coming from someone who has earth in their chart. Um... Taurus Virgo cap okay um but this is looking really good here because if things have felt like uncertain or rocky or like you've had to like you've been living with a lot of like scarcity or you've had to be very frugal like you're ending some sort of a cycle here um and moving more security overall within your life okay Let's look into ask for help. I feel like that could be kind of like explanatory for some of you of like, don't be afraid to ask for help. Like you've been manifesting something big and you know, your angels, your friends, your family, your coworkers, your partner, they, they want to help you out. And with the angel wing here, it's like, there is also like spiritual help coming to you, right? Faded help. So let's look into this. Why is asked for help here? Yeah, I feel like if you're afraid to ask for this because you don't want to like be too much or it be a burden, I feel like you can really come to this person and they're willing to help you. Yeah, it's like I'm getting this similar card. It's like I feel really feel like this King of Pentacles character here and they don't have to be an earth sign. They could just be someone, again, who has, like, kind of emperor energy who can have the means to, like, give you good advice, to offer you help financially, to, like, give you a business loan, something like that. Um, and, you know, this will work in your favor to move away of feeling like you have to fight for every opportunity or you have to, like, save for, like, you know, a year just to, like, be able to do something. And, um, and sometimes, you know, it does take longer like that if you want to save for, like, a house or something like that. But I feel like... Um, this is the person i feel like things have been really heavy or hard you've been in a state of you know it could be like emotionally feeling really heartbroken or again like with money or things like that it's been really tough on you right it's stress like when we have like financial stress or any stress whatsoever that can be taxing on the body but again i feel like you're moving away from this um i just like it's like right there i feel like someone really wants to come in to assist you here yeah they want to give you this offer and it's like it does feel like it's love based and again it doesn't have to be like romantic love like it could be like familial love it's like here let me help you out like i i got you okay okay let's look into exciting news what is this exciting news yeah this is a big wish that you've had so again it could involve somebody <clears throat> i am getting like gemini or air sign energy too who could be helping you out 
Um, this could be like family or friends. Um, I feel like you've been like either saving or have had to, again, like it's been scarce sometimes, right? Like maybe financially, um, or you're scared to like talk about the fact that you need help. But I feel like you're divinely guided to do this because it's gonna help you bring in a really big manifestation you've been wanting. Yeah, there's that, that wish coming in for you. Yeah, I feel like this is going to, this could involve healing within a relationship. So this could be like, if it's not financial, it could be like emotional advice. Like maybe you're afraid of um, getting Aquarius energy too. So maybe like you could be coming to a King of Pentacles. This could be like other, like multiple people helping you. Like a King of Pentacles might be helping you financially. A Queen of Swords might be helping you with like any heartbreak or emotional heartbreak. Maybe over like a relationship, right? Yeah, and I feel like you've been, like, not wanting to talk about it, um, about this heartbreak you've been experiencing, maybe about a relationship, and this person might give you really, really good advice. Yeah, it feels like there's this um, decision, if this is, like, around a relationship, um, or travel plans, or a move, or feeling like you have a lot on your plate, and you're like, oh, man, I just need some help, right? Like, say you're a mom, and you have kids, and it's like, I think I need to hire... A babysitter or like ask like my family if they can take you know the kids for like one day a week so I can get some a break or something like that um there's assistance here and I think it's gonna be for some of you it might be mutually beneficial so like some sort of an energy exchange right so like um maybe you are in need of more money and you um are doing a side gig where you babysit right and it's like they'll pay you and then the other person's going to be receiving help like with their family something like that here but it's there's something here about like a decision you've been weighing back and forth you have these plans it's stressing you out you're at a crossroads you're trying to find a solution you're, you're a little nervous you're scared to ask for help here or say scared to s s say the truth to your emotions perhaps around a relationship this could be like a romantic relationship you're struggling with or like maybe you're at odds with like someone in your family or something i feel like talking about it to someone that you trust an emotional safe space is really going to help you and it's like going to help you click and like like okay like i feel like i know what to do right okay mm, let's look at the garden Why is the garden here? Yeah, maybe it's like, <clears throat> for some of you, you're like trying to make a, a move or a trip, but it's been, again, money's tight. Um, For some of you, you might have heartbreak over some sort of a relationship and talking about it, it's really gonna help. Like you and this person might have like a, <laughs> I'm thinking like one of those, um, a lot of my like girlfriends and stuff like have like this heart to hand heart to heart where it's like let's talk it out let's help you solve this problem let's make this plan together so this could be around like a trip or this could be around like talking about your heartbreak whereas before it's like you didn't want to open up about it because you like again didn't want to be burdened you it was so personal and so hard that it's like opening up about it, it just brought things up but it's you know it's good to talk about it um I think this could really um, help you, right? And find the solution because we do have solution. We do have help. We have people coming in your relationships that are going to help you make a choice. Okay. So I would like get together with those that you trust to be able to talk about this. And for some of you, you're traveling to some sort of an event, which it could be like a wedding, a birthday, convention, enter X event here, right? Um, and you might be ass getting assistance. Um, maybe you're traveling to meet up with someone so they can help you with a project, right? Maybe someone's helping you move homes or something like that. <clears throat> okay, let's see what this key is. Why is the key here? This is key to clarity is what I'm seeing, what I'm hearing. This is going to help you conquer your anxiety about this crossroads that you're at, right? This crossroads, this decision you have to make. This person's gonna really help you. Um, I feel like you trust this person. Like, this is someone you can come to. I think it's just a matter of you maybe opening up about it 
or like I feel like the universe might even pre present you a situation where you're like talking to someone you trust and then it like segues into this conversation yeah Yeah, I'm just really getting to lean on your support system right now. This person is going to help you take action towards this confusion. Do I stay? Do I go? I don't know what to do. I'm weighing my options. But this this person has the, the means, like I said, the emotional space to help you out. I feel like you guys are going to be going over different options and things like that. And it's going to lead to this light bulb moment here. And I feel like you know, there's a lot of twos here. So twos are heart to hearts. It's like um, relationship based and you've been overthinking it. But I feel like your guides, like even if this is something like a decision you're making on your own and you're just getting advice about it, this conversation is going to help you listen to your intuition more. I think regardless of the advice, because it's going to help you affirm what you know to be true and get you out of your head, right? Sometimes when we recycle our thoughts and we like bang our head against a wall trying to solve a problem, we're not listening to our intuition. We have to take a step back from the problem, maybe spend some time with loved ones, with people in your life. And then it's like, bam, this, this comes through. Yeah, again, this person could have, um, we were getting a lot of signs here, but we had um, earth, we did have air, and then we were getting fire too, okay? But this is going to be like a loving and a helpful exchange for you guys in solving whatever this, this issue is, right? Oh my goodness, I can't pick this thing up. Ah, sorry. All right, let's see. Read for this one. The staff you will be taken care of in difficult times. <clears throat> Why is the staff here? Yeah, it's like, this is something you've really been manifesting. This is like going to be a big change. Like, if you've been feeling lonely or like you haven't been supported, reach out to someone who you trust. For some of you, this is like things have been tight financially. Like there's a luck, a change of luck here, a shift in luck here. Yeah, this person like really, really cares about you. They want to help you explore your options. They're going to give you like the the pep talk, the hype to keep going because you're almost there. You're almost at the end of this cycle. And um, I think after you receive this gift, after you receive this, this heart to heart, this exchange, this is really going to propel you forward, you guys, right? So it might like... This is a big thing, but I feel like the key here, right? Whatever this is that you're trying to do, or trying to accomplish, and you're maybe, you know, need that extra help or running into some roadblocks here. This is going to propel you. This is going to really, really help you move forward here. Because I feel like you've been kind of either stagnant or stuck or just milling this over a lot in your head. And it's like, this person, this person's going to come through and they're going to make a big difference and impact on the way that you see a situation they're going to help you explore your options um they're going to be of service to you one second guys okay all right let's look into the <clears throat> runes and charms let's check out the crossroads why is this room here why is the crossroads here so trying to figure out what you want trying to come up with a plan trying to decide Maybe you're confused around an air sign. So this could be like about a relationship. You may be confused about them and you've been kind of like not wanting to talk about it, but I feel like talking about it, it's really gonna help you guys. Um, but look, oh my, yeah, there is, this could be someone in your family that you are either inquiring about or talking to that's gonna help you. But when I see here, the four of wands, the six of wands, coupled with the nine of cups, that's a bam, that's a big manifestation coming out. So any issues or crossroads confusion that's coming out involving perhaps uh, an air sign or you're this air sign, a lot of mental thought, this is the breakthrough that you need. This is you coming out from hiding to express your feelings, to ask for help. And in doing this, this could be like a spiritual lesson that you're going through is to ask for this help because in doing this, bam, there's this breakthrough, there's this victory, there's this success, there's this um, assuredness, um, this certainty of knowing like the, the direction you wanna go, go in, right? 
but these are absolutely beautiful cards with the nine of cups that's a wish fulfillment four of wands is stability and self and relationships six of wands is victory and recognition you guys so there will be a successful outcome here with the key right there's a solution so if you're like feeling very frustrated very angry upset there's just a lot on your plate you're like stressed out what i'm gonna do the relief there's gonna be relief i feel like you're gonna feel a lot lighter here so let's transition into the um charms like right it's an angel wing but it also reminds me of like feathers right because feathers make up wings and i feel like it's gonna be lighter it's not gonna be as heavy um so let's see and again like i said divinely protected right this is gonna orchestrated divinely orchestrated for you to receive this assistance right it's almost like a earth angel vibes or an angel on earth of, of the people around you wanting to help you yeah yeah it's like things have been it feels some for some of you at a standstill or felt complacent because you've been in your head a lot like just like oh i don't know what to do right um but emotionally you're gonna be feeling a lot better after this you're gonna be like great breakthrough here's this win i'm moving away from all of this anxiety and this overthought and this juggling of what, what i should do where i should go um should i talk to this person should i make this investment should i make this move right um so a lot feeling a lot lighter emotionally again here and again, there's a win here. There is spiritual guidance and protection headed your way, you guys. Okay, I just think it's so funny with the synchronicities of what we pull, but like, I think of hand, like a helping hand, right? So, tell me more about this helping hand. Yeah, this person's helping you end a big cycle in your life. <clears throat> yeah similar cards here so this person is helping you end the confusion around some sort of a situation i think this is very emotionally that has been emotionally weighing on you very much i just feel like um there's been confusion there's been a lot of like well if i do this i can do that and then you know then there's this option and but it's like that's kind of more expensive but then it would be better in the long term or and then there's this is this option like think about it like say you're like house hunting and there's like seven different options here and you're like this is great but it doesn't have laundry <laughs> this is great but there's no um it like i don't know not a kitchen in the unit something like that right and it's like you're oh i don't know what to do like what do i want like right i just feel like you're emotionally attached to like whatever this choice is right and it wouldn't be a difficult choice there wouldn't be a crossroads here if it wasn't like something that is that you're emotionally invested in and um whoever this person is is helping hand is going to help you find clarity on your emotional state find clarity about what you want help you sort through these options so you will feel secure in the choice that you do make right okay so whenever I get the flamingo, I think about like balance or like balance is hard, like, right? So it's like hard to balance finances or you don't feel like as secure as you want to, um, whether it be emotionally secure, um, financially or mentally, right? So let's see, why is the flamingo here? Like what's happened here? I feel like you're unsure, right? So you're going to be like coming to these people, this person, and they're going to help you, one, take a leap of faith in the right direction. That's going to be victorious. And two, they're going to help you find your footing when it comes to this. Look at that, yeah. There's that nine of cups energy again. That wish fulfillment. And look at that, we have two nines. And two nines right by the fool, which is the start of a new chapter, the start of a new journey here. Um you're transforming this wounded warrior energy into this wish with the help of this person and again the wheel of fortune this is good luck here this is a change of luck and fate where again solid footing all around feeling clear-minded feeling loved and protected by those around you and supported ultimately right 
look into the rose, the flower. So when I see this, I think about a gift. Flower can be like the bouquet in Lenormand, which is a help, like a helping hand. Um, I think reconciliation. Roses are romance too, but let's see. Why is this flower here? Why is this rose here? So again, we're coming to this idea of something that your intuition it's almost like your intuition already knows the choice that you want to make or the direction you want to go in perhaps but it's like how are we going to make it happen and i think that these people in your life are going to help you ground this and help you take practical steps towards this thing that you know you want you know you want to do you're just like your your might your third eye might be a little blocked now because you're in your headspace a lot thinking a lot about it, of like how the heck am i going to make this happen right um but I think it requires you being open and honest about your emotions. So if it's about a person telling the, like the people you trust about how you feel about this person, if it's about, you know, I really want to move to this place. I just don't know how to do it. And I feel like I'd be much happier, et cetera. Like talk about that. Talk about why you're emotionally attached to this thing or, you know, attached can have a weird connotation, but you're invested is what I mean to say. So you're moving out of this disappointed energy. May can be significant here. Um, she might have been feeling really disappointed, like waiting for something. Um, you have This person's going to help you get a new perspective on this thing that you're struggling with and help you to find, again, balance um, balance within, which is I'm getting a lot about emotional balance here, coming together like two heads are better than one here, right? And I'm thinking of, what is that one song? Um, two, it's like, two is better than one. I forgot who sings that, I'll have to look it up, but it, that's the song I'm channeling here. Um, two is better than one. So, <clears throat> yeah, if you felt like a lot of things have been up in the air, you felt like a little defensive, or you felt like a little closed off, you know, reflecting on the past, or reflecting on why things aren't working out, Again, two is better than one. Someone's or some people are going to help you um, feel a lot more balanced. Um, this could be someone too who you've helped out a lot in the past and it's like positive karma coming to you for them to come in and help you now. And for some of you, if again, if you're taking like a big leap of faith, it could be like, say you're confused, you have like some options around a few different jobs, you know, that you want to take, um, a few different homes, um, you know, whatever it is, you know, they might help you be able to make a choice before you decide to like sign a lease or sign a contract with a new work environment, etc. Right. So that's coming through here too. Alright, let's look at the lightning. If I can pick it up. Matches my nails. Um, all right, let's see. <clears throat> Why is lightning here? Yeah, it's almost like for some of you, this is, there's, if there's been some conflict with other people and you're trying to get advice about that, I'm, I'm sensing there could be like some anger or passion or like, again, this frustration, right? But this lightning, that's coming in this can also be a lightning bur um lightning bolt or burst of like inspiration or clarity yeah i feel like this is around your stability grounding something yeah this is a, a big wish here again coming in for you you're almost there you're almost there yeah so if there's anything that's been conflicting around someone who has air in their chart for for a lot of you if this is not like career or financial or job or i said career or you know whatever it is it this could be around like a relationship like maybe you've been fighting with your family or a friend or a partner or a lover or you're you're hung up about um you know just still distraught over like a relationship that ended like an ex or something this person again could have air so like gemini libra aquarius this person is going to help you is going to help you with um, some sort of a solution when it comes to this person. 
So let's actually look more into this. So if this is like you're coming to this reading and it has to do with a certain relationship you've been at odds with or conflicted about, let's look more into that right now. Um, tell me more about this situation um, that's been with this King of Swords person who's coming out. Yeah, so you're at a crossroads with this person. Um, you know, maybe it's been hot and cold. You've like put up your healthy boundaries. You haven't talked to this person in some time. When I say ghosted, it doesn't have to mean like you ghosted one another or something like that, but I just feel like there's emotional distance here. Um, yeah, and this was like a big lesson here where it was very, very difficult. Um, and I feel like you've been healing from this. And now it's like, do I, do I like, talk to this person do we rekindle things it doesn't have to be romantic but it can be um i feel like this person a friend family member is going to help you maybe shift your perspective give you some insight help you with your healing around this person and look at this we have abundance is near so it's like i really feel like this is coming in soon for you that um, this perspective shift happening within this relationship, right? If this is, again, you're, you've been heartbroken over somebody who things have ended with or you're in a really rough patch with. Yeah, look at that. There's going to be a big success here. You've learned a lot around this particular relationship. And I think that opening up about it with someone you trust is really, really going to help you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting keep the faith here. This was a big list lesson here. Um, but look, you're ending a cycle. And we're getting that a lot with all those nines in the reading here. Let's see. <clears throat> yeah, it's like, <clears throat> I really feel like for some of you, you might be guided to talk to whoever this King of Swords is. Um... <clears throat> Let me see. Let's look into this. Regardless of the outcome, so it might be different for some of you. It's like there's hidden emotions here and stuff, but whatever is to happen here, this is ushering in some sort of a solution here. This is ushering a new cycle for you, a new beginning for you, and big transformation, okay? Um... Again, you're getting some sort of a perspective shift, some sort of clarity. And I feel like there has been a lot of confusion if this is relationship-based. <clears throat> and it's it's made you feel really upset, right? Um, but there is this promised new start here, okay? Yeah, okay. But I feel like they don't want to give me too much. They don't want me to give too much away because I feel like you're required to. This is a lesson to talk to somebody else to open up about your feelings about this relationship. So that that person can kind of like, it might deepen your relationship with that person. Again, that person might say the exact thing you might need when it comes to the way you want to approach the situation, right? The crossroads that you're at. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like um, stability, your sense of stability is changing. So it could be like, again, like a raise, a bonus, something like that, where you're feeling more stable. Or you might be feeling more stable to be able to communicate with this King of Swords person, to be able to talk to them about, you know, whatever issues, whether it be if you want to find closure with this person or you decide to like rekindle a relationship, like say it's like you're estranged from someone really important to you. Like it could be like your mom or your dad or something. And it's like your sister or like a friend might give you the advice that you need in order to like maybe have a conversation with this person so that you can like work on, on, you know, a sense of healing so that you can start some sort of a new chapter here, a new cycle. Okay. But there's a lot of love here. There's a lot of people who are around you who want to help you, to take care of you, to support you, to encourage you. And you're not alone. And that's what I, that's a really big thing here that I'm getting. You're not alone. You're moving away from like internal conflict, from feeling maybe more closed off or, or distant from others. 
And I feel like the universe really wants you to lean into the connections and to open up emotionally here, perhaps with um, a queen of pentacles and a queen of cups here. But it looks like, I'm really seeing this a lot, that in your emotional and material realms, you're gonna be feeling a lot more grounded here, okay? <clears throat> so let's get some advice for you. Okay, advice for my pal twos. Look at that, shine your light. Yeah, because I feel like maybe you've been kind of in hermit mode, maybe healing, reflecting, maybe keeping to yourself because you're like, I got these big choices to make. I don't have time. I got to figure it out first before like, you know, I reach out to people. But again, your connections are what are going to help you build on solid ground, right? Yeah, there might be some, you might be afraid to open up because you don't want to be judged or anything like that. But like people aren't going to judge you. Like they want you to succeed they want you to they want to help you and it's like there's a lot here that you're learning around like having faith of learning to build on that solid ground when it comes to maybe again like your career your business um within relationships right so you could be starting a new cycle when it comes to work finances relationships and right now I feel like you're reassessing. I mean, at the time I'm filming this, it's Mercury retrograde. And I feel like right now you're kind of looking back or like maybe a bit nostalgic or like looking back on the past or memories of like where things have, how things have transpired. And you're like, okay, I'm going to reassess. I'm going to like face where, you know, I want to improve. I want, and I want to like be able to open up more. I want to build on solid ground. I want to make a plan, but how do I do it? The answer here the key here is that in your connections that they're going to help you come up with a plan come up with a solution help you talk out your feelings and emotions especially too and i feel like you guys really need that emotional catharsis i'm feeling that very strongly here okay so you're going to be provided with that safe spray safe spray <laughs> safe space to be able to do this okay okay <clears throat> Let's I am the loving energy of the universe through prayer. It's interesting because like, especially with these two, look how similar this is. I feel like there's a lot of overthought, right? Which is totally human and makes sense when you're, you have a problem to solve. Which direction do I want to go? How is this going to unfold, right? And I feel like this faith, this love you experience from others is really going to help you, right? And I'm just really getting a lot of crown chakra versus um, third eye of like balancing your logic and intuition, right? Of, of coming from your, your heart space to be open, able to open up, to express what you want, right? To express your needs to others and let people help you, right? Because again, these people are the key to... Um, this choice that you're making right so i have attack pain fear judgment and any four percent any form of separation are merely calls for for help <clears throat> so if you've been at odds with someone maybe it's like time to make amends with them or to to ask if they want to talk and for apologies to be made also i'm seeing this as like if someone's hurt you you know talk to a friend about it talk to you know your friend your family member a sister a a brother, a therapist, whoever it is that feels like an emotional safe space, an umbrella to where it's like you can openly be honest with your emotions. And for those of you who are in like some sort of a separation with someone you really care about, it's like that's again, that's something to be honest about too. If you are feeling more insular or feeling more isolated or self-isolating, you know, it's I think that spirit's really encouraging you, like your guides are really showing up here to be able to ask for assistance because then you'll know you're not alone and that you're not just standing on one foot here, right? Because again, we have this beautiful gift, this help coming into you that's going to be really big and very exciting. It might come in unexpectedly. It might come in very suddenly, very soon. Help you heal. And this is exciting, right? And we have through prayer and meditation, I create a ripple effect of peace in this world. And then sometimes it is like taking a step away, like connecting with those in your life. Even if you're like not at first talking to them about it, like 
getting away to have some time for play to let you let yourself do something you love whether it's like playing some piano or like painting a, a photo yeah painting a picture right um and i think this is really calling you to lean into your intuition here and knowing that you're going to be get get guidance on the next steps you want to make and executing whatever this this choice is that you want to make this big move right okay so yeah just taking some time out will help you because i feel like again you're over which is again totally normal and understandable to want to um you know solve this problem right yeah yeah i really feel like your guides are coming through yeah look you're moving into this another blessing here is you're moving into more peace if there's been turmoil there's been anger or sadness or attacks or fear anxiety all this stuff like this is you know this is coming to you and part of this will be finding peace and help through people who are going to help you find this peace <laughs> right i said that so weird yeah and yeah look at this crossroads transition so you're making some sort of big transition into a new cycle here one with abundance you got abundance a few times within this reading right so this is what you're moving towards yeah this is after a time for you guys it's been really heavy right so some of you are like making a big move some of you are changing jobs some of you are like starting to like date again some of you are you know wanting to reconcile with those in your life find peace within the relationships and after a time of our generation you're feeling again more maybe in hermit mode you're entering this cycle entering into a new cycle that's going to bring you a lot more um peace of mind peace of heart as well as emotional and material abundance And this pile is all about your relationships, right? Yeah, and there's a lot here about judgment. So it's like maybe you were um, unfairly like accused of something or maybe you've been feeling like because you're in a place where it's kind of hard, it's like maybe you feel like you're in this space of judgment or like someone really hurt you. So it's like you're on the, the defense, right? I feel like this softening happening for you. And I feel like you're attracting people. I'm attracted to those people who serve my higher good and moving towards more of this and maybe away from people in your life. If you've had falling out with people who were bringing more negativity or pain or just not good stuff to your life, right? And if you're transitioning out of that, you're entering a stage where it's like, I know my worth. I'm going to be cling to those who, who love me and appreciate me and reci reciprocate with me. But also while moving out of this energy and like finding maybe a sense of forgiveness and understanding like everyone has their own unique paths and challenges right um you know if there was like any envy involved here on whatever side it was i feel like there's more empathy and compassion coming into your life right i'm getting like to imagine imagine all of the possibilities and imagining solutions with those who care about you they're going to help you um some of you could be creatives right yeah today i choose love there's a lot of love that's gonna about to enter your life okay so if you're healing from something that was really hard this is a new beginning right there's this transition because endings can be very painful they can suck right but with every ending there is a new beginning coming in for you and you're going to feel all the love you're going to be surrounded by so much support in the um spiritual realms as well as the material uh, material world right on this earth and look at that this is a magic card make a wish Psst, it works if you really believe it right so it's like there's this restoration of faith here a renewal get an archangel yeah there's something here about grounding right maybe like going out we have the garden here so maybe you're going to like oh, an actual garden with some friends maybe having a garden tea party with some friends could be a cute idea to like get your friends all together if you've been away from them for some time um so we have archangel thuriel 
The earth is my mother. I am one with all that is. I'm connected with the sacred energy of the trees, plants, shrubs, vines, and smaller vegetation. I embrace the sunshine as well as the rain. I am in balance with all life. And you're just feeling reconnected to like your roots, grounding, reconnected to the earth, to those that you love. Um, some of you could be earth signs here. We have tree agate. Um, are you a tree hugger or activist? Take the time to sit beneath a tree and connect with the qualities of its firmly planted roots, its ability to flex and bend in a storm, and its amazing power of growth. Remember your roots, yet always remember how you can grow to reach new heights. And I really love this card because it makes me think of like, because obviously the, you've been through something very painful and, you know, it's okay to ask for help. It's okay to want the support because I feel like to, if you're going to take anything from this reading, like, I really love this metaphor of a tree, right? Of like, right now you think about tree trees being firmly rooted into the ground, their roots, their foundation, you know? And you think of the, under the, the ground, it's like their inner world, your inner world, right? And we have this flamingo where it's felt like, you know, doesn't feel stable. I mean, I know flamingos can probably balance really well on one leg, but I just think about this in human terms of like trying to balance, like not feeling as grounded. And I feel like um, this idea of like, you know, you've weathered so many storms. There's so much resilience and so much wisdom, like a tree, right? Wisdom, you think about, um, you know, been through a lot of storms. There's so much growth and yet you still grow, yet you still bloom, yet you still blossom, right? And it's like, I'm getting like every rose has its thorn here, right? So after being through something painful, it's like, um you know, you're still blossoming, you're still growing, you're still, leaves are coming out, it's, as I record this, it's spring, so it's like the, the blossoming, I, I'm, there's a lot of cherry blossoms around my area, so it's like, you know, you're still blooming, and remember how much you can grow to reach new heights, so it's like this resilience, you are growing, you are going to get there, and you're going to get help from friends, right? Mm. Okay, I'm going to, let's see. I think I pulled with this, right? Yeah, there's, you're moving into the state of like this bouquet energy, which is happy, harmony, peace, right? Beauty, creativity. Yeah, a lot of you may be very creative and like maybe you transmute a lot of your pain or difficult lessons through your art, right? Like writing a song about it or a poem. We have a gift. And again, I kept getting that. Remember at the beginning we said this, charm reminds me of the bouquet in um lenormand so it's like reconciliation expression expressive gratitude appreciation openness i'm thinking getting oneness love and warmth so this is what's coming into your life maybe after a period where it's felt like a storm right um i want to pull this deck for you this is like one of the biggest decks i have it's so hard to shovel yeah, whatever you manage to do today will be enough. So not being so hard on yourself, right? If there's like a lot of self-judgment even, even it's like, you know, talk to your friends about that and they're going to help you like validate your emotions and feelings and also help you take that, tell you to take that pressure off, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's like feeling like something went wrong or didn't go the way you wanted or you felt like something failed, but it's like, you know, sometimes rejection is divine protection, right? Don't focus on success or fail. You just focus on effort, focus on trying. I feel like it's like, the steps here like you're finding the solution it's coming to you it's all going to work out fine okay. right so this is like guidance from the universe that don't worry like you're getting the help you need everything that you need is going to be supplied to you right in order to make this big dis choice this decision you have to make here yeah through any of this frustration if there's been rejection or you felt like you know it's been lack right you're gonna find comfort here and you're going to find this peace and you're going to start to feel determined again. I think you're going through a period that was very like, maybe you felt stagnant and it was feeling frustrating or you're going through this heartbreak and stuff, but things are starting to, you're starting to bloom, right? This spring, you're starting to blossom, starting to get back out there to re-engage, to reintegrate with those that you love and finding these solutions to this crossroads that you're at. Yeah, look at that relationship improvements. And we have a happy outcome. Mm. 
worthiness so yeah you're learning a lot about self it's about self-love that's so funny i just saw that right so I am worthy of the ultimate happiness. I deserve and I accept it. And damn it, I'm not going to feel guilty about it when I get it. Gail is not involved to my, invited to my happiness party. I won't even tell him where it is. If he asks about it, I'll be like, no, I think you're thinking of somewhere else or something else. And I'll run away very quickly, right? So recognizing how worthy, how deserving you are inherently, not, not even just that you have to prove it, that you deserve this love, right? That sometimes even if it, there is has been rejection, whether it be like, a business didn't work out or a relationship didn't work out or things didn't go the way as planned you know it could have been a divine detour and it's teaching you a lot that you know not everything is like if something didn't go your way it wasn't because you weren't good enough it wasn't that failure wasn't just be wasn't because you know you're not worthy absolutely not it's just something more aligned and better is coming to you and that's going to make you be in awe of this right it's a wonderful thing to be in a state of wonder and when I'm a good audience to my life, my life becomes better and better theater. When something delightful happens, I can shout encore and be tickled when it happens again. When something maddening happens, I can laugh it off. Either way, I'm glad I got a ticket to the show. And then we have, I openly, and look at this, these are two people connecting, people helping one another. I openly embrace the feeling of self-love. And this is also like, I guess, like a mirror reflection too, right? Loving the self, seeing you as a stepping outside of yourself to be like i deserve to be loved right i deserve to be nurtured i love myself because i understand myself i love myself as the most committed partner i will ever have i show myself love any way that i can and when i screw up i remember to be gentle and sweet with myself if not i'm going to make myself sleep on the couch got that self okay it's like cute silly um <clears throat> affirmators all right one second Okay. All right. <clears throat> Let's get some messages here for you. <laughs> yeah, self love. I feel it's like you're going to see yourself in a new light here. <clears throat> okay, wedding. And this wedding can be like an actual wedding. You might be, um, you know, this garden. You could be go seeing friends. Um, friends are getting married, family's getting married. And when I think of wedding, I think of like kind of like union of the self. Seven. So we'll see what that's all about. And balance. Okay. <clears throat> Why is self-love here? I feel like you're going to be feeling more sure of yourself. I feel like you're healing and like just again like seeing yourself in a new light and it's sometimes our ego our ego our ego um our we can be knocked down when something rough happens to us right but i feel like it's like you're starting to get your mojo back for some of you i'm thinking about the second house um the second house in astrology is of value and it could be like monetary value finances, but also like yourself, your scallons, your 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 scallons, <laughs> your skills, your talents and abilities. So it's like for some of you, like this could be work related. So maybe you're starting to make a little bit more money so you can like, you know, do some nice things for yourself. Um let's see. You could be like talking to friends who really encourage you and like really hype you up and and help you see you know help you love yourself even more right you know the kind of people you want to be around that'll help you find healing that are that help you you know because obviously like our self-love comes from within but sometimes it's really nice for those who love us and support us to be like like girl you are you know you're perfect the way you are right um yes we always have stuff that we're working on but it's like i feel like with this group a lot of you are like pretty hard on yourself or you've been through something really hard so it's like affected your self-worth or the way that you view yourself and you it's like you're coming out from hiding here and you might be connecting with someone who is um a virgo or an aries or an aquarius and these people want to engage with you so this could be multiple people that want to you're either healing your relationship with them or they're going to help you heal some of them might be helping you heal financially so you can invest in something long term here 
For some of you, this is like family. Yeah, for some of you, it's like you're healing and like there's a new beginning here with, with family. You're healing with family too. Or healing with like, again, like I said, healing your finances when it comes to work and stuff, right? Your career. Okay. I'll leave that there. Um, something ha is happening within seven weeks. So let's see if you're viewing this at the time that I'm posting. That's like around two months from now. So like around June-ish area. So area, June-ish time. Um, so what's happening here? What's this thing unfolding in June? Oh. Yeah, so if you've just experienced something very heartbreaking, you're like, by June, I see you really healing, right? Enjoying yourself, celebrating, experiencing a new beginning, experiencing this light. Yeah, and being able to come out from like this hiding. And look at all this. This is like three major arcana. And then with the Ace of Wands, that's a new beginning. Feeling passionate, feeling inspired, feeling very happy. Okay, so within the next seven weeks, like I feel like you're moving into a new cycle here that's moving out of like feeling hidden or, or feeling super heartbroken. And I feel like you're manifesting really a lot of reciprocity and heart to hearts within relationships that will reciprocate. Yeah, like I feel like if things have felt like they're not going anywhere, like things will pick up by then. And I really feel like um, I'm getting another message here of work on talking to those who um, you love, that you care about. Specifically, it could be a Virgo, um, a Virgo woman, or it doesn't have to be who might be able to help you here, okay? Working on opening up about it, and that's really going to be like the antidote here. Um, why is wedding here? So again, some of you might be traveling to go see someone get married, right? This could happen in June. And that might be a lot of fun. And it just like might, might get you, maybe you haven't gotten to travel in a while and you're finally going to go to someone's wedding, whether it be in the same state or like maybe someone's having a destination wedding, right? And you're able to go hang out with them and just be surrounded by love, right? And just restore your faith and like in love, right? Aw. For some of you, like, if you are getting married soon, you might be having a... You might be, and you want to conceive, or you're... This, for those of you who are married, and you want to have a child, or you've had trouble um, having children, like, maybe within seven weeks, it might be time to try again, or um, you might find that you're pregnant. Yeah, some of you planning to have a have a child and it's been hard or there's been blocks here um you've been doing like ivf and stuff like that um and it's just been a struggle like i feel like uh yeah it's very possible for you guys to work on starting to create a family if you just got married or um have another child something like that's coming in here for those of you who are like you don't have to be married but like you know that you want children with your partner or to adopting maybe for some of you exploring that option why is um, balance here? I feel like you're going to be finding more balance and you're ending a cycle, maybe within your finances, of feeling um, not financially secure. I feel like there might be, yeah, for some of you, you're working on your finances, balancing your finances, budgeting, things like that. Some of you might be getting a raise or a promotion here. But I see that you guys are ending a cycle when it comes to money. Um, and for some of you, you're like material world, essentially, like, you know, overall but also it could be like if you've been feeling again like if you're isolating or feeling left out i feel like you're going to be matched with people who reciprocate your energy if you've been feeling lonely right and working on um building really strong beautiful relationships but yeah money is coming through here strongly though okay so you're ending a cycle there it's brilliant so it's like yeah this could be like financial advisor helping you or like a friend who's really good at finances and like here if you budget this by like seven weeks from now or like by the fall you're going to be able to like make this move or you're going to invest in this and you know getting that help 
yeah be like right you might have a friend who's like a freaking accountant or i don't know a financial advisor so um why is text here okay so this is, might be confidence to talk to someone who might have air in their chart chart <laughs> chart so this person can be a libra or a an aquarius Yeah, and not feeling as blocked off from this person. So maybe it's like, this is like a mom or someone who has kids or someone that you care about and you're trying to find healing within this situation. Um, maybe I feel like, or someone in your family, I feel like um, talking, this could be a thing that this person might be helping you. So this is a clue for some of you who need help in some way or need you know emotional support, reach out to maybe a mother or like a sister or brother. Someone in your family could really help you, a dad um and just make sure like to you know accept their if they have some valid um advice to accept that to be open up to it because you're gonna have some sort of a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with this person it doesn't have to be in the form of a text it could be like hey can you talk can you help me with this issue and then you guys meet up or talk on the phone but i think this person here is going to help you get this confidence and make you feel secure about this crossroads that you're at all right Yep, and look, you guys, if things have been feeling really tough, you are moving into more of an emotional happiness, more of emotional abundance here. More, yeah, it's like your emotional energy, you're gonna be feeling really good. Yeah, I just feel like you're healing with people in your life. And the things that have been scary or that you've been afraid to face, like maybe you're procrastinating or like putting things off because it's like, you know, you're afraid to you don't know how to do it like ask for help like say you know you have to apply for something big like a job or like some sort of insurance or xyz get some help from someone reach out to someone and they'll help you give you that confidence to be able to um to go through with this choice okay all right my friends i hope this reading that you enjoyed this reading and that it resonated with you um if it did go ahead and leave a comment below if you feel called to um and i'm trying to build my channel so every like comment share or subscription really helps or ring the bell um and i did make an amazon wish list to help me in making more quality readings for you guys okay so again thank you for taking the time to listen to this reading um i will see you guys in the next one take care and have a good rest of your day bye guys Hi, Paul 3. Welcome to your reading. All right, let's see what incoming blessings are coming for you. All right, first of all, Paul 3, you must know that you are highly thought of, okay? So if you've been feeling a little low or feeling like things are kind of stuck or you felt like a little blocked off from like your personal relationships, maybe you just you've been more, you know, kind of in a processing state, kind of keeping to yourself. Know that your friends love you your family loves you they want to um connect with you because we have the connection charm so this is all about or rune this is all about relationships here and i'm seeing a lot of like round which round you know we have the eggs here so something i feel like is about to hatch you know we have like the birds here so you're moving towards a new beginning here you're moving towards a brand new cycle or I think you're going to receive a lot of like, this could be compliments, gifts, um, recognition here, okay? Especially, and I feel like this will mean a lot to you, especially if you've been a little like hidden or just like going through a period of healing, maybe healing your heart. But know that you're moving into a lighter period here. You're moving into a time of play to get out, to enjoy the relationships in your life, to have some fun, okay? So this, this blessing... One of the blessings is that you're going to feel a lot more connected with those in your life. Again, maybe after a time of being a little bit of a hermit mode, I feel like people might be wanting to make plans with you. I feel you reintegrating, feeling confident, right? So maybe like if you haven't gone out in some time, you're feeling a little social anxiety. I feel like you'll be surprised at how you're received by others, okay? And you have so much to offer. There's so much love here. Um, there's so much sweetness here. So if you're feeling any sense of like insecurity or anything like that know that like just getting back out there reintegrating is going to bring you a lot of emotional happiness and joy with those that you care about even maybe new connections right so what i'm seeing here is that you might have felt like kind of blocked or stagnant or stuck maybe with some plans or like forward movement and maybe you were just in this period of um maybe incubation right with the eggs here 
um, going through a lot of like personal development, work on yourself, working on healing. And then it's like you're emerging with wings, right? There's a lot of wings here with like the angel and the stork. But the stork is like transformation. It's heading towards a new beginning. For some of you, you could be traveling with the stork, could be moving locations. Um, but this is moving towards a brand new cycle, a brand new beginning after maybe a period of feeling like stuck. And I feel like this period that you're moving into will be a lot more grounded. Okay. Um, I really see here um pile two also got the like an angel wing so um that might have some messages in there for you but the angel here this represents that your guides the universe god that's it's protecting you right and so as you move as you transition this is like a transition a, a transitory period a um transformation know that you are divinely protected here okay that your guides the universe wants you to have some fun to make some time for play and you might feel like i don't know if i have time for them there's so much i need to do you're really encouraged here to get into this flow state into this fun state this creative state um and allow the universe to bring this goodness to you right yes yeah, so to get back out there one song that i was channeling right before i started this was love fool by the cardigans so that might be, have some significance for you again if there's been any maybe turmoil within relationships or something like that i feel like there could be healing here making amends maybe reconciliation and even if there's a conflict like maybe like again you there's just been emotional distance or you and your friends have been busy and it's like finally like we're gonna make some time to like get together to have fun to celebrate right i see a lot of love i see a lot of harmony with the um, music note, I see like, you know, just harmony, right? You think of music harmony within your relationships. For some of you, you might be musicians. Um, for some of you, you might start putting some of your art out there. Maybe expressing your emotions more to those in your life. Maybe after a period of, again, being like more towards yourself. But I just see you being received with like open arms. I'm also getting that song. Um, I don't know what it's called. I think it's called Open Arms. I forgot if it's by like Journey or some band i think in the 80s but it's like i run to you with open arms so i'm chilling that song as well um but yeah like i feel like there's some invites maybe some social gatherings things like that coming in for you but we're gonna get dive dive more into it um but let's see let's oh we'll start with the full so this full energy is a new cycle here for you i just feel like you're like hatching and spreading your wings, which is so cool. Sorry, this is gonna be a little loud with the charms. <clears throat> All right. Let's see. Tell me about the fool. Why is it fool here? You might get like, yeah, so you might receive some sort of offer um that's gonna help you in making a a choice to have some sort of a fresh start it's gonna usher you into a new beginning and this might be a nice surprise for you so maybe you're like unsure of like having some sort of a fresh start this could be within like a relationship or like how you're going to make this transition happen right say you're moving or going to a new school um whatever this big transition is that you might be going through soon there's promise of a fresh start and there's promise of help Okay, so you're going to receive some help for this transition, whatever you're going through. So you might be like kind of confused or overthinking the direction you want to go in. But um, there's guidance and within your connections, within your relationships, people want to see you succeed, right? You're highly thought of and people want to be there for you. And these people might be sent in from your team, from the universe, from God to be able to act on as angels on earth. I was getting this for Pal too as well. So it's like this guidance from your spirit team as well as the people in your life who are going to help you make a decision who are going to help you um give you some sort of an opportunity in order to move forward but let's see what this tower is i think it's a good surprise it might come as a shock to you that you're receiving this help <clears throat> what is this tower and i feel like it's a breakthrough right so if there's been a lot of overthought confusion doubt or indecision this tower here i think is going to help you yeah, this is some clarity or breakthrough here. Like someone might be helping you explore your options. Maybe there's been some conflict or like you're trying to make something happen. You're trying to create something and it's like you're very emotionally invested. And you're like, how is this going to happen? Um, for some of you, you might be reconnecting with someone as well. So this is someone you 
um, there's a lot of emotion in relationship, this relationship. So you have a, love, a lot of love for this person. This person has a lot of love for you. You might want a new start with this person. And there's been like block within like communication or forward movement here. Um, some internal conflict or conflict here with this person. I feel like this is being tempered. I feel like you're matched with this person. So this could be a friend, a lover, a family member that there's some sort of a new beginning with here. Um, and this is maybe something you're indecisive about, about some sort of a relationship. But I feel like this person feels the same way, feels the same feelings for you. Um, and they want peace as well. So if it has to do with a relationship, um, I see you there's some sort of communication coming in with this person. And again, like I said, this could be, you, you might come in thinking it's one person, but after you, you know, this happens, you come back and watch your reading. It's like, oh, that was like, I thought that was my mom, but it was really like my ex, or I thought that was my ex, but it was really my best friend, right? So there's some sort of important conversation here to, for the purpose of reigniting something to initiate healing after maybe a period of confusion and conflict with somebody um you or this person could have water in your chart so like big three or venus is what i'm seeing here so that's really cool so this is a new beginning um within some sort of a relationship for some of you guys okay and if that's the case i feel like this person that we we're just talking about right now really thinks highly of you like they respect you they love you they care about you um, so again, like that's another indicator if like this is somebody who it was just like really, really bad and then like, you know, you might have to lovingly part ways with them and that might not be the person that you're thinking of, right? So tell me about this you are highly thought of. That's beautiful. So, oh my god, yeah, oh my god, look at this. This is absolutely a relationship here. With the lovers and the two of cups those are like two bam relationship cards but it's like i feel like this person sees you as a star they see you as i'm getting um you're a shiny you know that song i don't know what it's called shining star i think it is like you're a shiny star no matter who you are shining bright to see or be whatever who you could truly be but anyways it's like maybe this person has seen you grow that's what I'm channeling from the song and like they've seen your evolution and like this is what you look like to this person or the people around you this doesn't have to pertain to just one person like a lot of people see you as very nurturing that you have a, an abundance of that you're very stable um that you're very dependable that you're a good communicator um that you have a lot of like I don't know why I thought I saw the queen of cups come out again but like that you're very connected to your emotions very loving here so you have a lot of love to give that you work hard so you're very recognized so like maybe at work people are seeing how hard you work and you're just like rising up right on the um climbing the ladder of success here right maybe some of you will be promoted here because you have like you've been working hard you have been diligent you've you got great skills um so if this is career related, for some of you it really is because you have the King of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles, people like your your boss or your coworkers see this and like because of that you might, there might be some talks of like a promotion or some talks of like something that's going to just be um, very good for you for your like career. For those of you, it's about that person we just talked about with the new start within this relationship. This person really wants to talk to you. They want to work on things with you. And um, they want to heal things with you. I feel that like this person could be someone that you've known for a long time. Someone within your family could be like your mom. This person could be an earth sign. Um, yeah, I'm getting like earth and air here. But this person just like really sees you in such a beautiful light. And maybe you think that like, maybe in your head, you're in your head. And you're like, I feel like, you know, my boss doesn't think I'm a good worker. Or like my my partner is just like you have you it's a new partner right and you're like i'm a little worried you know i want to open up more but like this is just the affirmation and confirmation from the universe that like you're very respected you're very well respected here for some of you like you've again either been separated or at odds with somebody but i feel like you know, despite everything you've gone through with this person, whether it's like family or friends or a partner um, or a coworker, whoever it is, it's like there's some sort of a rec reconciliation or a get together, like an actual get together, like in person and meet up, like a date, um, going to have some fun, going out for like drinks with friends, something like that here that you're just going to be feeling like in this Empress energy, there's a lot of this like red and passion, feeling grounded, 
right? This like both like kind of crown regal. Um, yeah, feeling really supported and taken care of here. So that's really beautiful to see. All right, let's take a look at some of this like blocks. The tower is like some sort of like a block. It could be also some sort of a, um, like a fortress. Like maybe you were just kind of keeping to yourself and now you're like, exhibiting you're like i'm ready to get back out there and just like have fun and be with friends or maybe start dating again whatever it is so those are two interpretations the last interpretation is like building a solid foundation for yourself so maybe that's what you're in the process of doing like materially in your world but also you could be just like emotionally working on personal development um feeling mentally grounded and strong here right but if there's any blocks here let's look into this um yeah there is some heartbreak here so why so again so maybe that's why you something might have ended and you kind of like took to your fortress your your castle um there's a song i'm channeling it, i think it's kind of I'm hearing like this is where I leave you or there was something here like um there's a fortress song I'll, I'll find it but it's like I forgot the artist um but I'll I'll, I'll look in it and you, you can look up the 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 lyrics the channel lyrics okay all right so it's like you were either blocked off or something happened um that there was some heartbreak within a person and this is someone you really cared about um, this person could have air in their chart, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But there's like a lot of like maybe this you you and this person thought it was like the logical thing to do to like go your own ways to end this relationship or just to like again keep in mind this could be anyone in your life like some sort of an ending here. But like the wheel of fortune is changing here, okay, between you and this person. It's like it's interesting because I feel like we just saw in the last spread something about a Queen of Cups and a King of Cups. So maybe it's like. You and this person were more in your logic, like more trying to be trying to be discerning, trying to make the smart choice. But I feel like you and this person have moved more into like your heart space, your heart chakra, if this is that same person. But we'll look into it more, okay? So I think this is again the reason there's a tower here. Either you went through something heartbreaking with somebody that you cared about, so you kind of went in, or there's like been a block in communication with this person, right? Maybe because of stability here. And I feel like you and this person thought it might be like best to maybe part ways. But there's some sort of an end of the cycle here, okay? So let's look into this. Um, let's look into the stork. Because the stork represents a new beginning. I mean, it represents a transition, movement, travels. Um, just like spreading your wings and moving moving forward in some way. So why is um why is the stork here? You're going to get some sort of, um, wow, I am getting all of the, not all yet, but I've gotten the queen and king of cups, the king, queen or queen and king of swords and the queen and king of pentacles here. So this feels very relationship based. So, you know, even in that last spread, say that was like, you're having problems with like a coworker or a boss. It's like, you're moving like away from that. Um, you're ending a cycle here and it seems like it's with a person here. Okay. Um, for some of you, this is like, again, within money, you're ending a cycle of like maybe scarcity, but there's a big win here. Like with the end of a cycle, things are coming more into balance. This could be with a um, someone who has an earth, earth in their chart. So gem or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but there's a win. And this win is helping you like transform your life. And it could be materially, like some of you say you wanted to move somewhere. You're going to have the finances now to make that happen. Some of you want to travel. Some of you um, are changing careers and do a new career. But there's a win here. So whatever you've felt blocked in or you're manifesting, whether it's been like money has been tight or like relationships have been a little difficult, um, your business, your art, your career, like there's a shift here. And I think it's coming in the form of some sort of a partnership. I feel like this person's going to help you. I feel like there's peace and balance being made. Now, keep in mind, these might be different areas of your life, which if that's the case, that's different people, right? So this could indicate work. Um, moving forward, getting promoted at work. The the last one could have been like um, an altercation with like family member. The one before that could have been within romantic. So take it how it resonates within those specific areas of your life. Or for some of you, this is the same person. And because of all these changes you're making within your personal lives, it's like you guys are coming together to have some sort of a communication in order to end a cycle, balance things out. There's a win here and there's an equal match in energy. Okay. 
So basically, the gist of that is that like, whatever areas of your life, there's a lot of shifts here. So I feel like it's just multiple um, areas are being affected. You are being matched up with people or reconnecting with people who are, you know, getting closer with people who match your energy, who reciprocate, who love you, you love them, you guys work well together in business, whatever it may be. So these blocks are being eradicated and there's now forward movement coming in and that's part of your blessings, okay? Okay, let's look at texting you. Why is um, texting you, like who's texting you? Whatever this text is, it's going to be good because, again, it's ushering in this full energy, which, again, tarot is so synchronistic here, right? Because we have the full, we have the full originally. So it's like you're at the end of this cycle of, like, feeling conflict or conflict with, like, personal relationships. And you're, you're, you're choosing, you are choosing to work on the relationships where, you know, maybe giving people a second chance. Whether it's like, you know, you really love this person, it's a best friend you've known for, like, seven years and it's like... We've had just some disagreements, some arguments, but I'm going to push forward and I care about this person and we're going to work on it. For some of you, you might be leaving behind some people who are, you know, it's not good, you know, you guys don't serve, this person doesn't serve a higher purpose anymore where it is helping you grow, right? And as a person, um, and it's not working out anymore. So you're choosing to nurture and cultivate the relationships in your life who are, again, reciprocating the energy that you give. Again, we got like for earth energy, air energy, and water energy, all of those people are coming out, these counterparts of like, you know, being evenly matched with like a friend or a partner or a business partner who like want to give back and you guys are mutually benefiting, mutually giving to one another. Right? Okay. So again, for some of you in that, it's like you're clearing things up with people or finding closure within things that, um, you know, it's Mercury retrograde as I film this. So it's like maybe if there's been any miscommunication, it's like you're you're healing that and you're feeling blocked off with certain people. You guys are work choosing to move past that, right? And it's like, I feel like the people in your life who are going to stay in your life, like these, these, this is what they think of you. They think very highly of you. They think you're special. They think you have a lot of... Um, that you're beautiful in so many ways that you have a beautiful heart and it's like those are the people that you want to like to right um all right let's look into the connection room tell me about the connection room sagittarius energy coming out here um Maybe you're, you're, if there was like some sort of a fight or conflict with someone, you're like, will this be a success? Will we be able to work things out, right? Um, if there's a misunderstanding, like, will this person see my point of view? Yeah, it's like you're, again, ending a cycle with people in your life, cultivating healthier dynamics here. There's like maybe apologies, offers being made. Like, and I feel like there's this passionate, like, want for on both ends to want to like you know make amends here for some of you you might be traveling you might be traveling with um someone who is a mother or your mother um i'm getting again sagittarius energy here um i'm getting family vibes or like maybe boss vibes here um so you could be visiting family visiting people who feel like family like chosen family right um Yeah, it's like, I feel like you're going to experience some, like, sweet and good times and good conversations, clearing the air. I don't really see any, like, crazy cards with this particular thing coming through, this relationship here. The only thing is that you're, like, you're a little bit, like, back and forth of, like, will this be success? And maybe you're planning a trip. Was this trip going to be success to be, be able to see this person or go with this person? It is. Just, like, be open. Talk about it if you guys are making plans here um maybe there's a bit of fear about money involved when taking some sort of a step here perhaps when it's like moving or traveling but i feel like you're going to be again divinely supported here if you have to make some sort of an investment that involves people in your family people in your life um there's going to be a victory here so if there's anything that you're stressing out about this is the universe coming through to be like hey like don't worry we gotta just be communicative 
um, especially if it involves family or money or long-term relationships like your partner or something like that. Um, there's generosity here. If there is any struggle, there's apologies here. And I feel like a lot of passion and exciting energy coming through for you within your connections. Yeah, there's like some, there's sweet offers here I feel being given, that you're giving and receiving. Okay, let's look into the angel. One second. All right. So you're, it looks like you're trying to make plans for some of you again, like this time for play, maybe you're trying to plan to see or meet up with people and there's been confusion. How am I going to make this happen? Maybe financially. Um, but I'm, I'm really feeling like you're very divinely protected here. Like for some of you, again, if it's like a faded trip, like, yeah, this is going to work out. Um, there's a few sevens here coupled with the angels. So that seven makes me think of spirituality. Um, it looks like you've been going through a period of this heartbreak, right? And you're like, when are things going to change? I'm confused at how things are going to work out. But I see you having a lot of fun. I see people supporting you. I see people in your life having good conversations, helping you. Um, and it get, again, it's like the universe is sending in these people in your life in order to help you heal, to help you make sound investments, to help you clear up confusion, to help you change your luck, to sh for fate to shift here, and to celebrate and get together with these people, to have these talks, to help you plan, right? Because this, again, seems like a big transition that you're about to go through. Um, for some of you, children are involved in this. So again, you could be like, again, traveling to family. If you're a mother, you could be going to see your children. Okay. Yeah, maybe you're helping your child. It feels like for some of you, like again, this has children involved here, okay? Maybe you're planning to go to like Disneyland with like your nephews or your, your kids or something like that. into the moon this tiny little cute moon charm here all right why is the moon here maybe you're working on your emotions about communicating opening up to others maybe you're working on communication with like a boss or a father figure or mother figure or um an authority figure this so this could be with like job work related yeah you're about to end a cycle emotionally and it could be with someone that again like what i just mentioned with this emperor person this could be an aries um you're about to end a cycle here and i feel like um let me see what this page of wands is Yeah, I keep getting like children involved. So maybe for some of you, it's like you're working on your communication with the people in your family. There's a new cycle with your family, with your loved ones. Um, if it's been heavy or it's like there's dynamics that you want to shift, it's like I feel you exploring that and like being more vocal about it, working on your relationships with those close to you and maybe like not hiding your feelings as much, being more emotionally expressive here and vice versa. Oh my goodness. All right, let's see what the star is. The star usually indicates like healing and wish fulfillment. Yeah, this is like moving away from, this is like healing communication and moving away from the conflict. Again, this could have involved other people, like say it is your family or um, a friend group or something like that within your workplace you're ending a cycle there within the people that you love the people close to you <clears throat> again you're highly thought of like if there's many blocks or barriers there's going to be these communications that opens it to end the cycle there's a lot of air here so it's got a lot of talk a lot of overthought and you're moving away from this you're moving forward and you know 
sixes make me think of family and makes me think of balance and harmony and i feel like there's going to be more restoration of harmony closing out harder cycles with the people in your life that you care about right establishing more foundation and happiness and joy within your partnerships right and you start a new cycle with the people that you really love who are going to be in your life for a long time right okay let's look at <clears throat> Trouble clap. This is a trouble clap, right? I should know this. I'm a musician. Um, all right, let's look at the music note. Why is the music note here? I just keep thinking about harmony and balance. Yeah. If there's any anxiety, confusion, um, again, within these personal relationships, feeling left out, feeling lonely, there's just the sweetness here. Um, there's healing. You might be making plans with people that you li um, love. Um, you could be making plans with the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, a lot happening here. So yeah, <clears throat> so there is just more overall balance coming in for you, moving away from emotional disappointment or feeling like there's something missing, feeling left out, feeling like maybe even financial stability getting better here so that you can, you know, have more funds to be able to have disposable income so you can like do more things for yourself and with the people that you love or for the people that you love right yeah making sound and good investments we have perspective shifts coming in here for you maybe these healing conversations too with people that you care about it's going to give you a new perspective here but i feel like you're it's going to require you to come out from hiding right to come down from your your tower right your fortress that you've might have built because something very sweet is coming in for you with the wheel of fortune which represents a big faded change as well as the nine of cups which is wish fulfillment so let's go ahead and this part this could be coming from a queen of pentacles keep that in mind your connections are going to be big here so it's like it could be a lot of your connections helping you and bringing in helping you usher in a lot of these um manifestations things that you've been wanting for a while right so let's see what this is. Okay. What is this like wish, this manifestation, this incoming blessing, this big shift for my pile threes? Yeah, for some of you, it's like financially... For some of you, it's opening up more. For some of you, you're going to be expressing more of your authentic self. Really being in your fiery queen of wands energy. Feeling good about yourself. Um, really like knowing, right? Because people can say, we love you. We think that you're this and you're so wonderful and this. But like if you don't believe it, right? Then that external validation, you know, if you don't have that you know, it's not going to hit the same, right? Um, but this might come as a surprise, a, a very nice surprise here. Yeah, I really think that like financially things are going to be better for you. This is like this big turning point within your finances, a new beginning, where again, you will be having more fun, things feel lighter, um, things are balancing out within your relationships. Okay, let me look at what the tower is. What is this tower? Okay, well, it's a win. Like we said, it's a good surprise. Look at that, 10 of pentacles. Again, this could involve family. Um, for some of you, you might be finding out that you're pregnant. For some of you, um, there's a win here or like a balancing out with your family for, for you. Some could be like a mother figure, someone who has kids. Again, like I said, for some of you, you're becoming a mother. If this is work related, again, this could be like a raise or a new job that you've been looking to be able to, um, you know, get, be able to receive more a month, right? Yeah. For some of you, this has to do with travel or moving. Um, and look, we have this again. So it's like, you know, look at that. That's a two, two, and then a six here. So numerology is going to be important here for you guys. Like a lot of twos and a lot of sixes here. 
um but there's some sort of a like a win a heart to heart i think this involves again someone very special in your life there's another two and a six um <clears throat> yeah a lot of you this is traveling so it's like if you're worried about like traveling somewhere and it's like man i really want to travel i really want to find i want to play i want to see my family i want to see my friends um this is going to be successful okay so if you're planning a trip and you're like really stressed out financially about it or something it's all going to come together with the money and just like sometimes it comes out of nowhere right sometimes you can like say you listed something on like um ebay like three months ago and you're like oh my gosh i'm just like so worried about this trip i have to book the tickets it's like this thing comes through like r like suddenly on the internet for some of you and you're like oh my god i just made a sale that's exactly the amount i needed to make this trip comfortably or make this move comfortably for, for those of you who are moving some of you are moving into like with your family into like a new house some of you are like moving in with a partner some of you are starting a new family too right and you're a little worried about finances but i you just know that again with the angel charm you're spiritually guided and protected here <clears throat> okay Yeah, it's like almost expect the unexpected. And like I said, for some of you, it might be starting a family and you you were trying to conceive and then maybe like it was rough for some time. And then you and your partner, like randomly, it's like you wake up and you're like, I feel something, my intuition, I'm, I'm going to go check. And then it's like, oh my gosh, it worked. We're pregnant, right? But yeah, I'm seeing a lot, of, a lot about like traveling or moving here. And then a lot of you having, there's like children involved in this somehow, whether it's like you are the child or like, you know, it's your parents or like you have children yourself. Moving closer to family or leaving the nest for the first time. Regardless of what it is, it's like you're going to be taken care of here. Because again, there's a lot of love and connection showing up for you. And then your future, right? With these blessings, a lot of these blessings have to do with your close partnerships. All right. All right. I'm going to pause the video. I'll be right back and then I'll continue it. Okay. One second. Hi, Paul three. I'm back. Okay. Let's go ahead and see why the heart charm is here. Tell me about the heart charm. I feel like you've been very protective of your heart for some time. Maybe after, you know, this heartbreak that you've gone through. Maybe not wanting to open up, right? Because you just kind of wanted to, to heal, right? That fortress energy. But it looks like there's some sort of an offer coming your way. That's ushering a new beginning in terms of your heart, in terms of your heart space. This could be in the form of a message. So this for for those of you who are like starting to put yourself back out there again this is someone that you could meet traveling somebody that you can meet at work or someone that you can meet on the internet is what i'm seeing it could be like you know a friend of a friend you're you're traveling you're moving to a new place you're about to usher in this new start for yourself you just got a new job so you're relocating or something like that and then you meet this person and you're just like wow like this person's awesome i think i'm gonna open my heart and give this person a chance right for a lot of you, I feel like this is this is when you're going to be traveling for some of you, right? Tell me about these pages. I've been getting like, don't block out this opportunity for connection. And this could be within just all your relationships, right? Um... I am channeling a song called Sensitive Kid by the Cold War Kids and it's the lyrics I'm channeling are I want a purple heart that cannot dissolve and I just feel like you've been through a lot, right? This looks kind of like this intricate armor, this beautiful pattern on here, but it's like I feel like there's just this heart space awakening, opening your heart chakra to love, you know, after it's been a while, right? Maybe 
something really happened that shook up your world and you're like ah, i don't know if i want to open my heart again i just want to kind of keep to myself but again you're moving towards a new beginning here you're moving out of the sadness and this pain the heaviness that you've been experiencing and it's an interesting synchronicity because we do have the tower as well here right in our initial spread but look there's a win there's a victory when it comes to your heart space Might be something unexpected here. What is this tower? This is a new beginning. Oh, look at that. And two, this is a new emotional period for you guys with the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups, right? This is coming from a soulmate. Tell me more. Yeah, for some of you, it's like you're getting that confidence to get back out there again. You might be receiving unexpected communication from somebody, an unexpected offer. What is this unexpected offer? Yeah, it feels like you're going to receive this. This is a new start, something really passionate, something really fun, really exciting. Yeah. Yeah. This could be like grabbing drinks or meeting up, going on a date or something for some of you. Um, but it's going to help you move forward. And it's going to help you open your heart space. And I feel like, you know, you've been manifesting this, but you've just been taking your time, you know, wanting to heal, kind of being in your cave. Um, so you can focus on your healing. But this is movement forward here. This could be with like a king of wands. So this could be Aries, Leo, Sag. We have um, Libra, Gemini, and Capricorn showing up as well. This looks like a stable partnership or relationship. For some of you, it's romantic. For some of you, it's like a new exciting friendship um, that you didn't expect to like click with this person, right? So I just feel like there's a new beginning with your emotions and the way you approach love, the way that you receive love, the way that you give love here. After a period of stress, I feel like you've done a lot of work on yourself. I feel like you've put a lot of love into yourself, right? Maybe some taking some time out to be single for those of you that this resonates with being single here. Yeah, you've been really in a period of healing and things as you've alchemized within this wheel is turning away from this painful ending that you have had and that you've experienced here yeah you're coming out of this hermit cave you guys yeah moving away from a period of heartbreak and it's like almost like you know how um this is a weird analogy but like there are certain creatures, animals that like they get like their limb chopped off or something and it grows back. It's almost like this your heart broke, but then it's like mending back together even stronger and with more wisdom and learning how to love even more unconditionally. You're done with the conflict of the past. You know, if someone didn't treat you right or give you the love that you deserved, you're moving towards a new beginning. You're coming out of hiding, you know, to experience like wearing your heart on your sleeve again dipping your toes in the water when it comes to dating and you're done with this cycle you've transformed a lot there's a lot here with this transformative energy okay all right let's pull more here all right tell me more about incoming blessings here for pile three It's just like i just want to keep reminding you guys that this is a new beginning like anything that felt blocked whether it be your heart space or movement forward or progress with your goals with the relationships in your life that you value this is you cherish this is shifting there's healing here there's coming out from hiding there's finding these emotional connections with people who are meshed with you right um again with the people that are in your life that you've had altercations with you guys are healing those things um I just i just want to remind you how you know i see you like in this showing up you're in your nine of pentacles and your empress energy like i'm literally reading your energy i know it's a collective reading but it's just like i want to reaffirm you as like a, your 
you know, reader bestie, your internet friends here that like, you are so highly thought of and it's been a rough cycle, but like, again, you're spreading your wings here. You're moving towards more harmony and balance in your life. Like this is newness. This is new energy. And look at this bouquet happiness harmony beauty right you are beautiful inside and out creativity a gift art reconciliation expressive gratitude appreciation openness i'm thinking oneness love and warmth so it's like that's what you're moving towards here you're moving away from this like cold or dark or stuck or stagnant energy because again this this was rough whatever you went through like this was like a phoenix vibes like you know the cycle was hard this was like a, a an ego death right this is just renewal of your heart space this is a transformation you're rising up from the ashes again like i'm really feeling those vibes a catalytic heart awakening yeah there's a lot of new energy coming in yeah after a time and there's a lot about like the spiritual guidance and protection of like destined and faded changes things are really hard and you're like when are things gonna change like when is divine timing gonna click? I have faith, but I'm getting frustrated. But there's this newness here. There's overcoming a lot. Yeah, a lot with the Wheel of Fortune coming out. And things have been delicate, things have been hard, but I think that your guides want to remind you that everything is connected in this world. There's this big web and there's all these different moving parts, right? And we can get frustrated and it's very human to get frustrated with like, you know, especially if we have our belief systems and then like, when are things going to change? I'm trying to have faith here, but like, when, how? And it's like a reminder here that there is such a unique and beautifully crafted plan for you. It's exquisite. Um, it's all coded and it's like, for example, say you're like looking for a new apartment and you're like i'm not finding anything like nothing's working out and it's like there's this per there's this one apartment right you haven't seen it pop up on like the you know rent.com or whatever and then finally one day you're like about to give up on your search you're like whatever i'm just gonna stay here and this listing pops up and it's literally perfect it has everything you want everything you need it just you know took another two weeks or something for it to pop up and that person who's moving out of it you you know there's again like i'm saying it's all a web it's all connected and it's like this person had to wait because they were about to start a new have a new start and get a new job so right when they moved out and they got a new job that's when you can move in but but that's another a test am attesting to the fact that like how we're all connected in some way and all of these puzzle pieces all these parts you know i'm mixing metaphors here but like this web it, it all has to work together and click and there's a card in my one of my decks here i'm gonna find it and it's this it reminds me of like this whole grand design right yes it's like web design like the internet but like you know all these moving parts and these are about to unfold for you and you know the journey's been along it's been hard but like look at all this wisdom all you're like getting your set of wings it's like it's a new chapter it might be you know something unknown or you're you know kind of like testing the waters and but there's a lot of wisdom here and i feel like all of these uncertainty of what's to happen like things are going to start shifting for you right summer might be significant for you guys right so it's a lot for a lot of you like it could be summer where a lot of these opportunities start to unfold okay we're in april we're in aries season as i record this so this is a timeless reading so i'm getting summer for timing for those of you who are watching it at this time where a lot of this is gonna shift okay and a woman might be significant here um let me see yeah so aries season which we're in right now we're about to shift out of aries season um Something is shifting here. So let me look into Aries season. Why is Aries season important here for my pile three? Wow. This is a start of like working towards some sort of a long-term foundation. Yeah, this is like you're moving out of this heartbreak, the conflict, the ouchiness, and there's faded change here towards go 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 movement towards a new beginning so this airy season if you're watching this at the time is activating something that maybe by summer 
you'll see how this is all unfolding, right? So it's like the perfect timing is always, it's unfolding as we continue to go. There's a perfect timing for everything, but like there's something here about this new beginning of something long-term and stable for you. This newness energy here. Yeah. Yeah, this is ending a cycle and you're manifesting this newness here. Um, tell me about summer. Yeah. So, again, if you're watching this at the time of recording it, it's April, May, June. Summer's two months away, right? So summer is like this freedom, feeling this new start. You're like wrapping up the end of this. And look at this again, the fool right so it's like this air season and you know what's this eclipse season it's activating something within you within your life where you're moving out of this sadness and into the light yeah summer what is the five of wands here Yeah, this is, this, again, this end of a cycle. Healing. Healing from this. For some of you, it's like you're starting to make plans this airy season. And then, like, by summer, maybe you're experiencing some frustration right now. But I feel like you're going to have more clarity of thought, clarity of how plans are unfolding for you. And it's, like, manifesting within just a few months from now. So that's not a long time, right? So maybe some of you again are feeling this tower energy of this block and it's like this conflict or internal conflict you're like how do i do this do i go this way or that way how can i make my plans come into fruition right and you're going to be receiving help guidance wish fulfillment when it comes to your plans unfolding that you have um and again by summer which is just two months away um it's like this thing manifests for you Okay, let's see about, I wanna look into these two. All right, so what is the Wheel of Fortune? Again, this conflict keeps coming out, moving away from conflict. Yeah, if there's any like delays, again, we're like in the middle of Mercury retrograde. You've had anxiety, this could be anxiety about um, romance, this could be anxiety about apologies, something like that. But this Wheel of Fortune is shifting out of this and you're going to explore, you're going to have a new beginning and you're going to have healing here. Um, okay, let's see, what is this woman? So this woman can be somebody long-term in your life this could be like a family member something like a friend you've known for a long time uh, for some of you, you might be traveling with a woman or to see a woman um it doesn't necessarily have to be a woman but i really am getting strong woman vibes here is that like when you might be traveling with a woman a woman's traveling to you you're the woman traveling okay um but this could be a trip that's going to make you really happy this woman could be someone in your family um Let's see. All right. What else do we have here for this? Tell me more about the cherry and the ten of cups, please. Yeah, you're moving away from disappointment. Again, this is just like going from like the, all this disappointment to like just feeling this overwhelming sense of happiness, you guys. Okay. Yeah, especially with the committed partnerships that you have in your life. A Taurus, um, Virgo, Capricorn might be important here. Okay. Yeah, moving away from this conflict. And you're choosing to trust your intuition more. I feel like you're getting more into your yin energy. Getting more into really trusting this flow state. This receptive state here. Let's see. Okay. All right. Let's pull some of these for you. 
Actually, I don't know if I got advice for you guys. Let's get some advice for you guys. Advice for pile three. Yeah, be true to yourself. And maybe that's like you've been kind of like hiding your liar or you've been wounded and there's this deep wound of like you've tried to be authentic you've tried to be true to yourself and you've been met with like opposition but i just feel like persist persist because the more that you are true with this self, yourself the more that you're aligning with opportunities right and drawing and looking for opportunities that are more meant for you right look at that you're, it's like you're moving out of this 12th house energy into first house energy which is like you know shedding a part of yourself or releasing painful things that happen right and you're stepping into your power here this is a big upcoming blessing um yeah you've been facing a lot of adversities yeah nurture yourself first a lot here about this self-love you have been i feel like you've been facing your adversities doing your best to make these ne necessary sacrifices trying to nurture yourself um and there's a big thing about being in your yin energy and like receiving receiving help, receiving, um, opening up your heart to those who love you. A lot here about that whole idea of forgiveness being one of the highest forms of unconditional love, right? Leaving the past in the past um, and taking the lessons and the wisdoms with you, right? Putting that into your backpack as you move forward. Um, and we have do what you love, right? And I feel like part of being true to yourself is doing what you love. So in, in engaging in those activities, whether it's like your art, you like to draw, you like to take photos, um, getting into that flow state is really going to help you ground and it's going to really make you feel good and remember how powerful you are, right? Let's see. Let's do this one for you. I am the loving energy of the universe. Okay, so if there's been conflict here too, my capacity to tune into this energy of love gives me the words I need to, when I'm ready to speak up, the compassion I need when it's time to forgive, and the power I need when I'm lost. Yeah, so there's a lot of healing, especially within your relationships, you guys. Um, yeah, we got, I just picked this up. There's exciting news coming in for you. Yeah, and I think it revolves around healing things. I feel like you and maybe another person or other people are going to be able to heal things. You guys are both seeing clear. Maybe you've like t taken a step away from certain people in your life. Um, and it's like both of you have learned a lot in your time apart and have got, been able to get more in alignment and especially with your heart space and healing here. Yeah, a lot of you are healing money issues and there's a happy outcome around that. Yeah, there's a new lifestyle. And again, with that new chapter, this full energy coming in for you guys, right? Blaze the trail. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Um, this is for those of you who like astrology. I would take a look at the transits and how they are um, aspecting your birth chart. Okay. Um, a lot of astrological changes here. So for some of you, again, like the Mercury retrograde might be bringing people into your life that you want to heal things with, right? or heal from and i feel like there's a lot of uncertainty to hear but it's like yes this is all unfolding all in perfect divine timing right and it's like embracing this adventure this time for play this and you know the unknown because adventures wouldn't necessarily be adventures if we knew exactly how they're going to end up right and it's like remembering hey you're guided in this process right you're transitioning into something new and it's uncertain and scary and beautiful okay yep you're about to expand and i think a lot of this expansion is happening starting like airy season and throughout the summer this could be happening for you some good luck here coming in this could have to do with work your career your money okay maybe some of you are focusing more on your health your everyday life getting like new fun rituals every day like journaling or just letting yourself decompress and take a bath stuff like that and then again for some of you you're traveling or you're moving for some of you you're getting more into your spiritual beliefs you could be joining some sort of 
or some of you are like going to school and like engaging in like higher education here taking some risks yeah there's some adventure heading your guys's way i really i really like that yeah and i think it's starting this airy season if you're watching this during the time that i'm posting or if you're watching this you know a little bit later and say it's already taurus season or gemini season it's like oh wow you can look back and be like wow my everyday life i think is shifted it started shifting around that time i'm gonna be able to like travel more i'm going to a new school i might be moving um i'm beginning a new work um there's a lot here but there's this risk taking with aries and um the ninth house that's really really cool so a lot of expansion coming in for you guys i think unfolding with these incoming blessings over the next few months for you guys and i feel like some of it you don't expect yeah, I feel like for a lot of you, you've been feeling really tied down or stuck or or tired, frustrated, right? And when we're depressed or we're sad, that can drain a lot of our energy, like the stress, right? The effects of it on our body. Um, but I think right here, you know that things are shifting or about to shift. So it's like, trust your intuition and let that be your compass. Let that be your guide, right? And be true to yourself. Like if you feel like, you're no longer resonating with a community, an organization, something like that, then, you know, you're protected. Remember, you're protected. Spiritual guidance protected from harm. Look, we got two angels. So, like, you're very, very divinely guided here. There's a lot here about, like, fate, perfect timing, um, spiritual beliefs. June's going to be significant for you guys. Yeah, don't lower your standards. Yeah, your heart space is opening again. Look at that. Love and good fortune coming in for you guys. Um, I'm going to give you guys my therapist deck here. So this is a huge deck, but I really like this one because it's just very gentle. Because again, I feel like you're coming out of a time that was really phoenix energy rising from the ashes and you know it's like you might be propelled into this new start here and um you're ready okay it's all happening in the right time the universe isn't going to give you something that you can't handle right there is this new beginning coming here for you <gasps> and look at that this is like you have survived every day so far you know you really think today will be the one that defeats you and this isn't this is um shoot what do you call this it's not a is that the phoenix i think there's an actual phoenix card in here so maybe that's why they want me to look at it let me look, let me find it for you um but yeah this is you oh this is gonna bug me what this animal thing is called or this like mythical animal it's something it's not, I don't know why Valkyrie is coming to my army. No, like, <laughs> I don't know. Let me just see if I can find me. the rising from the ashes ones. Because we got that Phoenix transformation one here too. Wait, I know it's in here. Bear with me, you guys. Because that one was, I want to read that one for your pile here, okay? And I would be able to look at these easier if, ah, I found it. All right, you will rise above the ashes. You'll find a way to become whole again. See, and that's like your heart space, right? The healing of your heart space. Um, sorry, I felt like that I needed to <laughs> read that one. And stay soft, the world may be cold, but we don't have to be. So it's like, you know, it's like you've been through so much and you know, maybe your heart protects itself, right? You're like, dang, I've been through so much and I just wanna protect it. But then it's like, it blocks the flow of love out and the flow of love in and it mends in time, right? It might be a little purple, a little bruise right now, but this healing will come in for you, okay? It is already happening. You're already moving, you know, away from the really, the hardest part of it. This is over, right? Um, let's see. Um, yeah, for some of you, you might be getting like a raise within your career or a new job here. Um, yeah, again, like some of you might be like, um, relocating because of a new job. We have plenty of material things here. So it's like money starting to look better for you. You're going to get out, you can get to play, re-engage with people after maybe a time of being, you know, more isolated and stuff. And so it's like, this is just blossoming, blooming after a time of like, maybe feeling like a bud or like tightly wound because it's like, or not wound, but like holding, you know, 
not opening your heart space because you're just like you know afraid to open up again but you're moving away from this okay all right let's go ahead and see some of these for you so a bar or restaurant might be significant here so you'd be going out with friends family maybe starting to date again yeah aries so a lot of aries energy here so this could be an aries person or this can be an aries um just aries season right libra so the eclipse is a big one for you guys and then one okay let's look at bar or restaurant why is bar or restaurant here i feel like you're going to be meeting up with somebody for some of you it might be romantic like a date someone might be inviting you out okay so you might be um meeting up with somebody and this is like ending some sort of a cycle. Yeah, this is a new beginning for you. This So this is initiating the end of the cycle. This bar or restaurant that... It doesn't have to be a bar or restaurant. It just could be like a place that you're meeting up with someone. Um. Wow. Okay, so... It's like you know this person. So it's like some sort of a conversation where maybe you have been in like separation, like a best friend or an ex or you know something like that that you're reconnecting with this person um so like this person might be offering to meet up you might be doing the offering and this is going to be a new start in healing and this is going to shift things so for some of you who are like reconciling or planning to reconcile with somebody um meeting up at like this place this establishment whatever it is is going to usher in a new start and it's ending a cycle between you and someone very significant in your life. It's ending the conflict. It's ending the hurt. And there's going to be just this new beginning here. Yeah. It's like, I just keep getting, don't hide away from love, okay? There's situations coming in. There's relationships coming in. And you can trust these people. These people are loyal and they love you, okay? Um, Tell me about this travel. So you might be like traveling and then meeting up with this person. Why is travel here? Yeah, some of you have been like waiting to travel, wanting to travel. I feel like you, for this pile, I just feel like you're experiencing like it, it's felt like frustration, like a lot of delays for you. Am I right? Like I feel that again, this divine timing, like it, I can I can empathize like I'm sure there's been like a lot of this these blocks and stuff but it like they were divine blocks for a reason to reassess to figure out what you want in order to usher in this new beginning this full energy um by full I mean this brand new start right and um I'm getting even with like this meetup that might be a leap of faith for you guys um but for those of you who are planning to travel or actually planning to move to relocate you might be like confused or like i feel like i have to wait like when can this happen i'm just hearing ready set go so all of these pieces need to click together like i mentioned earlier with that um that whole analogy of like maybe you're not finding the right apartment or the right job and you're like it's been my dream to move to um to arizona and you're like I'm not finding the work I need. I'm not finding the right house. Give it a little bit of time. And um, something, it might, again, shock you. It might be really good and really exciting. It might just come in and you're just like, holy moly, right? And when, um, with the store here, that can represent relocation as well, right? Or if it's not, you're like relocating, it's like moving and you're planning to travel and you're like, why are these, why is this taking so long to plan this trip to figure all these moving parts out? And um, it's going to be a significant one. It, it feels very faded if you have any upcoming travel or any moving plans, okay? Um, but it's coming in the divine timing, right? I just feel like, yeah, like just based on the energy and like how this reading has been going, it's like, I feel like there's been pauses, right? I've had to kind of pause the video a few times and it's like, I'm just I feel like I'm picking up this energy of like really hoping and moving for and wanting this new start and you're like when is it gonna happen and it's like the universe has got your back like all these pieces are coming together all these different parts and when you when you're ready when the time's ready you will know it'll be abundantly clear for you guys okay 
And Aries might be significant. Tell me about these air this Aries. This Aries might help you usher in some sort of a, a manifestation. And it's, I think it's gonna surprise you. I feel like you guys aren't ready for this. Um, there's some sort of an offer that's gonna help you working together with this Aries. Um, wow, yeah. Like coming into balance, being on the same page with this person. This person might be like an Aries or a Libra. Yeah, you might be in contact with an Aries person. Um, let's see. What is this wish for? What is this Nine of Cups? It's like obviously some sort of a new beginning here. What is this Nine of Cups? Moving away from something disappointing. So again, this Aries is going to help you get some sort of a wish, manifest some sort of a wish here. An Aries or a Libra. This person can have like Aries and Libra in their chart if that's like really specific for somebody. Um, I know a lot of people who have like placements on the sister signs of axes. Like, right, for example, they have an Aries sun and a Libra moon. Or they have a, it could be like a Taurus rising and a Scorpio um, sun, right? Okay, so I feel like this person, you're going to be working together with this person and they're going to help you usher in some sort of a manifestation here. I'm getting like yin energy from this person, like feminine energy. So this could be like a woman. Um, and see, um, so that's the Aries here. So this person's going to help you. Okay, let's look in Libra. Who's this Libra? And also just want to remind you guys that, um, again, we're in this eclipse season of Aries on the Aries Libra axis. So earlier I pulled about you look into your astrological chart. I would definitely look into where Aries, the house that Aries rules within your chart and the house that Libra rules, right? So again, if you specifically have Aries in your second house and Libra in your eighth house, you might be have this, this focus on your value on finances right now, right? Maybe a new job, new ways of uh, sources of incomes coming in for you, right? And just becoming more independent here when it comes to like money. Um, let's see, why? Tell me more about this Libra. You might have some like fears around this person. For some of you, this person could be in your family. Um, I feel like there's a lot of emotions around this Libra person, but there's also a lot of fear here. And I feel like there might be some unexpected communication with a Libra coming in that maybe you're afraid to talk to. But there's a there's a lot of like love like this person could be in your family and you're like oh I didn't expect to hear from them because we had like an altercation. Um, again, this person can be the same person here for some of you, but I feel like this person. Um, what's happening with this Libra? Yeah, there's been a, a lot of overthought about this person, but there's communication coming in, and I feel like you or this person have felt like defensive or blocked off but you're ending some sort of a cycle here around this person okay some of you are like healing from a libra it could be that Okay, let's see. Because it, it, it seems like these are people showing up, I'm gonna pull a different deck here. Um, so let's look in this Aries again. Tell me about this Aries. So maybe with this Aries, you've had like feelings for, all right, let me see.
So whatever this relationship is, maybe someone came in between you and this Aries. So it, maybe it was like, you know, friendships and like two friends were fighting or something like that. Or if it is love, there was some sort of a third party interference here and like you and this person have been patient. This person really cares about you. Okay, so if there's more clar clarity on this Aries here. But I feel like you're going to be collaborating and talking to this Aries. Yeah, for some of you, it's a it's a, like a friendship soulmate, this Aries person. Um, I'm really getting a lot of friendship vibes here. And if there's been a little like push and pull, you guys haven't been on the best terms yet. I feel you, you guys are going to make amends here. Okay, tell me about this Libra. Yeah, some of you might be healing, healing from a Libra. Um, having an epiphany about this Libra for some of you. This Libra is, okay, so for a lot of you, this, this Libra, if it's not a Libra, Libra represents like important relationships, like long-term relationships. If you guys believe, so this feels more romantic. So the Aries feels like more like a friend and then the Libra feels more like, um, it feels more romantic. And I feel like maybe you are going to have some sort of a conversation with this Libra that leads to some sort of epiphany. So it's like you, whether this is closure, whether this is moving forward with this Libra, you guys are like mirroring, feeling the same way. And I feel like apologies and, you know, talking to this person needs to happen, right? So I'm feeling like maybe this bar or restaurant you're either meeting up, it feels like with this, with this Libra it could be. Okay, look, abundance is near here. Um, so I feel like you both have been going through these spiritual awakenings. Again, if you resonate with the twin flame or just you throw it as in like under soulmate, right? Um, if that doesn't um, resonate with you. But it's like, it's like kind of clearing the air, you know, wanting to heal. And I feel like you guys are going to be opening up here. Yeah, and I feel like this is a person you might be meeting up with at the bar. So it doesn't have to be like, it doesn't have to be a Libra. But I'm getting like this person could have sun, moon, rising, or Venus in Libra, okay? If that is like more specific for some of you. Yeah. It's like you guys have had to have healthy boundaries. You might have been blocked from this person. Um, and I just feel like some of you guys are receiving a lot of signs about this person. You've been manifesting like some sort of coming together. Like this is a past life relationship. So maybe during this summer, you're going to be reconnecting with this person, this Libra, okay? This one feels like more romantic, although it doesn't have to be. It just feels like a really important. Um, they're both important. I just feel like this is more um, friendship and this is... Um, seems more romantic okay okay um let's see what is one tell me about one For some of you, you're traveling in like one month or seven weeks here. Um, yeah, for one in one month, something significant is going to happen here. You're gonna heal some confusion. It might involve travel, it might involve the internet. Like something comes through on the internet, some sort of like a message or an email or a text. Yeah, I said text message on the oh, social media. Okay. Um, but I'm getting for like, for some of you, you might be traveling within one month or in one month here. And it might be unexpected. You might be like, yeah, I have all these travel plans. I expect to travel. Like I'm planning a trip within three months, but then it's like some of you are like, oh shoot, for some reason I'm traveling within one month, right? Um, I feel like a lot of you might be receiving some sort of unexpected communication on the internet. Or you might be sending this too. So whatever you feel called to do here. Okay. Yeah, 
yeah you're ending a cycle here of fear i think one month i think like one calendar month is going to be significant here maybe some of you have fears about traveling or relocating or talking to some of these people here this aries or this libra but i feel like it's closing out a cycle with both of these people here okay and we have libra here in the back of the deck um okay anything else here with these I'm feeling don't hide away don't hide away from your heart don't hide away from your emotions i feel like there's some important conversations that need to be had here for some of you these conversations might be happy happening in person okay like of important meetups here that you have with these people in your life yeah for some of you it's like you don't know if you have the confidence to like have these conversations or you're afraid and that's understandable but I feel like this is going to be really freeing and just really helping you with this transition, helping you move past all of these emotional blocks, right? Remember, this was very focused heavily on your relationships. And it's like, this is this new beginning that's coming in for you guys. So not no hide away from this. For some of you, music's really significant here because I just pulled music and um, so some of you might be musicians. So it's like earlier we had that advice of like, you know, be true to yourself, do what you love, right? I feel like getting into this, like getting into this creative flow state if you are a musician is going to be really significant, like posting your music um, or you could be receiving signs through music or healing receiving music healing signs here right you know what i mean yeah so i'm just really getting to pay attention to the signs and synchronicities within music you guys so that being said let me pull i have my homemade oracle deck i don't bring this out that much for for these um youtube readings but let me pull some songs for you for channeled messages since music is so important here Okay, so we have Harvest Moon by Neil Young. So it's like, this is maybe, you know, feelings you have for like that person who was showing up here about like that twin flame or soulmate energy, right? Opening up some apologies that need to be made linking up here. We have Mine by Bozzy. And for this one too, it's like, I feel the lyrics here. So you're so effing precious when you smile. And just like this, this person's like, kind of praising the their object of their affection and they're so proud that like they're mine right and so we have um so sorry about the noise if you can hear that um i feel like this person or these people in your life everybody they think so highly of you okay um we have drew barrymore by bryce vine okay so i feel like this person like if th this feels romantic so it's like if there's just something in that the whole like soulmate one was resonating with you then it's like this person like really thinks highly of you they're really attracted to you and this is real love baby right father john misty okay and for those of you who are single it's like you're manifesting someone who is just like really gonna like just you know be a simp in a good way for you right and you might be simps for each other and just like really love one another and just like you know like not in a healthy way, but just like praise one another, right? You're just like, there's a lot of love here, right? Never Be the Same by Camila Cabello. It's like, I feel like if it, this is someone you already know, it's like you change this person's life, this person has changed you, your life, right? And I feel like that's part of that whole soulmate activation of like the spiritual awakening, of getting closer to love, learning to love yourself even more, learning to love others and this person, right? This unconditional love, this forgiveness that's coming into play here, this healing. And then we have the Cross the Room by Odessa and Leon Bridges. So I feel like there's someone who's like really, really missing you here, okay? So I feel like they wanted me to pull for music from this deck because it's like, um, to just for confirmation for those of you who might be on some sort of a, a separation with somebody that you love. 
yeah this person's a soulmate and the, for a lot of you i feel like this is some yeah someone from your past there's something really faded about this relationship i feel like the passion there's a lot of passion here there's a wish here that's that's a um, unfolding when it comes to this person you're going to be working on transforming things within this relationship you know gaining the strength and wisdom if there's been this emotional distance from this person you've just like grown a lot um again for some of you, you might be traveling to see this person this person's traveling to see you you're traveling with this person and you're really working on healing there's going to be a healing conversation here and a heart to heart with this person okay I love that. That's really, really beautiful. Um, okay, you guys. Uh, I hope this reading helped. I'm sorry about the few little blips of in interruptions in between. Um, but yeah, let me know if this resonates down below in the comments. Um, I'm trying to build my channel, so it would be super awesome um, if you guys have the time to either like, comment, um, share, subscribe, or um, you know, hit the bell for notifications when I post new readings. Um, and I also uh, created an Amazon wish list. So if you guys want to help me or any way just to help you bring more free readings here, um, I have some items there. It's linked in the description box below. Alrighty, my friends. So there's a lot of incoming blessings coming for you when it comes to your close relationships, a lot of healing, a lot of just like strengthening the bonds you have, so much forgiveness, and then as well as a lot having to do with either travel or moving, and then your finances. There's blessings there as well. So you're headed to this new beginning, this fresh start. Your heart's just healing, moving towards a new heart chakra awakening here, right? Moving to this new start away from these blocks, knowing you're spiritually guided and protected coming out from your cave if you've been kind of like you know a little more insular and remember how loved you are i just want to remind you of that path through because there's a lot of people who really really love you and adore you they adore you right you're that bossy song of you know you're so precious when you smile so proud to like that you're mine or that to have you in your people are proud and happy to have you in their lives you bring a lot of joy and love and they they want you to reintegrate they want to connect with you they want to talk to you and you and the people in your life are going to be giving a lot of mutual respect and giving and recipro reciprocation that people are going to help you accomplish your goals and you're going to be there for them as well all right so more time for play you know i feel like this summer is going to be really beautiful for you okay a lot of wishes coming through in the next few months a lot of important conversations that are that need to be had that are going to heal things okay so i'll see you guys in my next reading and i hope you guys have a great rest of your day bye